desperate at all, Gunt. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> but I'll Somebody get... ring me. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm so lonely. <laughs> I need friends. <laughs> I had someone join my Star Citizen stream last night and they were there for the whole hour and a half that I was fumbling and bumbling about <laughs> nice. talking to me in chat and they'd like <laughs> give me advice in chat and how to do things. Apparently they've been playing since like it first started. Cool. That is good if especially if they're just giving you help, you know. Just give me I help. was well happy. Yeah. Oh no, don't click that. You want to click this? Oh, they was letting me fumble along and then waiting for me to like go, oh no, I haven't got a freaking clue what I'm doing here. What do I do? And then they, said, then they uh, kind of pop, piped up and said, yeah, this is what you do. I thought, oh, thanks. Evening all. Hey, hey Jess. Jess. Pushing through. See you guys inside. How is everyone tonight? Yeah, doing good. good. Doing good. Cold day at work. Can you uh, can you phone guns, Jess? <laughs> yeah, he's posting his phone, his phone Why? number. Why? Uh, his phone number will be on YouTube. <laughs> not if I can help it. He's trying not to post his phone number. <laughs> I would also the... try to avoid posting mine, so I can. Towards the end of uh, my recording of uh, Sunday's training, uh, I tried to uh, log into Dungeon Master's uh, Twitch stream. But in order right. to register, I had to put my phone number in. And I wasn't, ah. <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I did it. And then uh, I realized, oh, crap, I'm recording. So I got to. That, that would explain why the video didn't go up. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out a way of cutting that part off the end. <laughs> it, it should, yeah, it be, should be relatively fairly easy, easy to snip to it off. Any editing software? Yeah, for normal can, people, but I'm a retard. I can't do that shit. <laughs> you can do it in what YouTube are you as well, using? but I don't know how. Uh, right now, the easiest one is the YouTube uh, standard editor. Uh, I mean, if you just Google YouTube crop videos, it should probably yeah, come up with there's, something. Yeah, there's a couple of videos on how to do it. Um, I'm going to – I just didn't have the time. I was going to uh, do it last night, but uh, I got Who's tired. on speakers? That'll be the end then. Amen. Amen. Don't know, yeah, I don't know why that was... Uh, my, I wasn't holding my push to talk, but it was still on. We'll believe you. Thousands wouldn't. I'm going to restart team speaking uh, administrator mode. Might be why. Yeah. You're, in, you're already in as a rifleman, DM. Have you gone? Yep. Yep, he's gone. Well, if you want to, disconnected to check. if you want to geek to uh, have a look for your guns, I'll. I mean, it's not my specialty, but I can usually figure these things out. No, I think I got it figured out. It's just that I'm not a hundred percent sure that the part that I'm cutting off is actually going to be cut off, or if it's the rest of it that's going to be cut off, and I'm just going to end up with that little part at the end. There's only one way to find out, guns. Yeah, yeah, I know. As as long as you well, take a backup of the file first, and that that's uh, then it's not a worry. Well, it won't it won't mess the file up on that I have on my hard drive. It it'll uh, it only uh, messes with the file that I uploaded to YouTube. And even then, it yeah. saves a copy. An extra half an hour. And even then, it saves a a copy of it in case you screw up. Ah, fair enough. But yeah, I was looking and thinking, normally it's gone up by now. I hope he's all right. So now I know why. Oh, yeah. I spent about three hours on OBS trying to figure out how to do it. And I finally fucking almost threw my monitor across the room. OBS? Yeah. It's, it's the recording, recording software. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't record this kind of stuff, so. If you ever watch Cap doing his uh, stuff, that's what he uses, OBS. Oh, right. I mean, just ask him then. <laughs> Yeah, no, don't, don't. Fair enough. No, there's got to be videos out there on how to do it, so. Yeah, I'll get it figured out. 
Is that half, half the, half the uh, secret of being a successful geek is knowing how to Google really, really, really efficiently. Yeah, true. But then there's that laziness thing that creeps in. Oh, yeah. Right, cat's fed. Hopefully that won't be annoying me. Hey, Lord. Hey. Hey, Lord. Hello. I'm jumping as MG, but I know this is kind of one of those find stuff and pick it up kind of mission, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's um, MG. I don't know how you're going to have No, there wasn't an MG, was there? I don't think it probably matters, right? I thought we got the MGs, but we didn't get the ammo. I don't think it matters. Sure. What I I come in, I think, is that you pick shit up and you wear it. So there's yeah, no there's no preset as, as it were. If right? you want, you know, it don't make a difference. Yep, he vanished anyway. He obviously gets in quicker than we do. Yeah, he's just, uh, he's got a good computer. He gets in fast. I shouldn't be the, the envious type, but sometimes you look at somebody's tech and think, I wish. Oh, yes, definitely. All the time. It's like all you guys and your massive monitors. Maybe I should try my work monitor at some point. It's a 22-inch. <laughs> I've got a 22-inch pink TV that I stole from my daughter. Oh, God, I think I'd have to go blind if I had a 22-inch monitor again. Well, I only have a 24-inch telly, so... Hey, yours is bigger than mine. Well, I, I have a tiny house. There's not much point in... Uh... Yeah, you got a space requirement. I'm going yeah, I mean, in, people. Your telly I will meet you in there. My, my, my whole house is only about seven yards long. Yeah, word to the wise for tonight, guys. Don't waste your ammo. And that's all It'll I'll say. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Were you in training? I was. Then you know what I mean. It'll be fine. I didn't use hardly any ammo. I think it's going to be a bit different tonight. I spent more time being shot. Right, I'm going to jump in. Yep. Me too. Evening. Everyone alive in here? Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad, Dad. Most of us are jumping in. Yeah, same here. I need to start a power ma. Hey, Ron. Hello, hello, evening all. Whack. 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 I saw that keyboard. I so you want you to have that keyboard. <laughs> One day. We need a malt which turns uh, Ron's walking into rubber ducky noises. <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Yeah, I think it'll get a bit tiring after a while. 
for one mission, it yeah. will be funny, but yeah. uh, one mission, and you don't choose it too much. Every so often. But for, also for realms specifically. <laughs> So, are we all looking forward to getting mascast? Uh, yes, depends on what I'm going to do. If I'm getting mascast, depending on what I'm going to do, uh, that might mean we're losing. Come on, Armour, stop dicking about. Was that my one where I had to I had to jump in and start trying to help people, even though I gave myself no. crap medical? Condors. Where ah, he, condors uh, yeah. When Red was sleeping for like twenty minutes, and I went over to save him. Yeah, life. that was a pretty yeah, rough Les night. came too. over. Nez came over and saved me. <laughs> it's okay, kind of shit, funny you talk Marcus about it. Here. I watched the video, and then I'm like, hey, there's there's Red. There he is. We did apologize afterwards. You were just on your face. No big deal. Yeah. I thought you were tired and needed a nap. Yeah, you guys are right. so used to him being in that position. <laughs> did you see that guns in your video? <laughs> yeah, yes, I did. I almost stepped on him. You did. Did I step on him? No. No. Hey, Cam. Just before you got, you were. Is the mouse broken? You you turned and went. Into no, the but and I have a the different. Yeah, but to be fair, we were under pretty heavy fire at that point. Maybe you were. It's only Altus, the map's fine. It's one. Hey, Plus, I don't know, you know, don't if it identified that, that, you know, looked at him goes, hey, that's a friendly, as opposed to, hey, yeah, guy, body lying the, on the ground. Yeah, I, I, it, to me, it was just the body on the ground, but different. that was yeah, my fault. Sure. No, 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 it wasn't your fault. It, it yeah. had shit like that we all missed him, Guns, don't One, you one glance at the radar, I would have seen the hotel marker. Uh, the map, yeah. But, yeah, given we were in a firefight at the time. Yeah, yeah, you know, bullets whizzing. One prone body is much like another. That's what, anyway. <laughs> Let's say it. Say it. Steady. Limp and lifeless. <laughs> That's what. He Any prone's a goal. <laughs> Gimpy. What? DS Arms is a US company that remakes. It's an the import of an FN rifle, shouldn't it? <laughs> They just took some of the components. It's That's a parts kit. I sense a technical argument. Yeah. I could have a massive gun nerd, so I, I'll, I'll fight on this hill. But I'll lose because I've got a short barrel. Just wait till after the mission, everybody? all right? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Bleep. Bleep. <laughs> Sad. What'd you end up coming in as, Lord? MG. You got 100 just, rounds and that's it. A, cool. It's just a, 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 supposedly, somehow, the MG slot decided to get rid of the ammo out of the vest. After all the t testing I did of it, it was working. He's got a million smoke grenades, though. I know, right? <laughs> like the MG guy, it needs, it needs the smoke the most not. Well, you can always grab something else if you fancy. Actually, I'm... 41 kgs, I should probably drop a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming, um... Orange crates, uh, empty stuff you don't want. I noticed, uh, on Friday, um, there wasn't really a stamina. And then today, is there stamina? <laughs> I don't mess with the stamina stuff, whatever. Oh, there was stamina. Server. Last Friday, I could run as fast as I wanted, and nothing ever happened to me. <laughs> don't tell him that. It's a lot to do with loadout weight. Oh, for sure. I was MG then, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm 39 kilos, so I'm going to be a bit Yeah, chunky. 41. And that's without ammo. In real life. <laughs> Holy, I have every smoke grenade under the sun. That's 
<laughs> every color, every, you know, scent. I got lucky. They only gave me five red and five blue. I have, like, orange and yellow. And I have, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see all the <laughs> ones you're putting in there. Yellow, red, purple, orange, green, <laughs> blue. <laughs> Lucky charms. That just brought me down to 45 kilograms. Thank you very much. I also don't, I, don't, I never use basic, I never use basic bandages. They're useless, so. Yeah, um, when I don't have anything else, I do. Well, yeah, but, you know. Yeah. I can't fit and after after Sunday, we may need any spare bandages we have. I'm taking yeah, a lot. I'm running at 41 kilos, but most of that is medical supplies, and I don't feel inclined to ditch those. You know, hopefully, you don't have to run too much. I took lots of bandages. You were in training, weren't you? No. Ah. Have you ever been on 39.85 keys, so. I should be all right. That was practically lightweight for you, guns. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather be able to be mobile than CBA to be, version, you know, fat-assing myself around, not being able to run. Yeah, well, running is definitely on the cards tonight, so... Hmm. Guns! Hey, Greg. Magical fruit. No, yeah, no, no, it's Ron. What's up, Ron? It's Ron. It's hey. like Grinkle. Pritchard's on his way in. Oh, uh, he's having PC in troubles. Okay. Yeah, that's normal. Hey, that's all right. Gun sounds friends. like red. We all know that. Yeah. No, my friends. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Mine. 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 Yeah, all the Pritchard soldiers, they all think that I'm you and you're me. Red. <laughs> yeah. It's true, it but me running that colonial accent we have. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you need to phone him. You need to phone him and square that one away. Lots of happy faces. Not. I I just uh, this I reorganise red guns and sledge in order of happiness. <laughs> so I don't I don't I don't. It's not the tone of their voice. It's the uh, it's the brevity. So red's the happiest. Guns is in the middle and sledge is the most no miserable. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's just the pitch. That's the only that sounds there. about right. I can tell who I'm talking to purely based on how happy you are at the time. If we don't get into the 1580s, I may have to switch to Rifleman, because, yeah. Stick with the Daka Daka. It's not really, it's a Daka support Daka's weapon. always more fun. Well, these are me, it's not I mean, a support weapon. I mean, oh, good to be fair. Don't worry about it. Look, if you guys I are light, then we'll just work with um, reds to keep us uh, close together again. Oh, Grinkle. I'm not sure if we have a medic at this time. Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, if you don't have a medic, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll make sure that uh, both Hydra and Hades stay close to each other. We'll put yeah. Jess in the middle. Yeah, that's good. She'll, I'll set up a CCP and uh, we can bring Wounded over to her. I think we're eight total at the minute, so uh, yeah, if we just stick, if we stick, like, you know, we're within four. kind of 100 meters away. Yeah, well, we're four, yeah, you're four, is what I mean. I'll be setting okay. up a CCP, so people, okay. uh, I'll mark it on the map. You ought to start kicking some of your people's so butts and getting one of them to come in as a medic. 200 meters away from each other, we should be bargain. We're just our greatest fire teams, basically. Right. Okay, and then hey, I can guns, be Hey, guns, go ahead. Gun. You up the group, please. I mean, obviously, this red is an M60. But... It's might as well be yeah, Roger. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't hit I mean, you've got, you've got the front. You've got the, you got a grip on the front. Now what are you complaining about? <laughs> oh my God, the M60, even if you're lying down with the bipod out, it doesn't hit shit. <laughs> it's not meant to hit shit. It's meant no. to put 7,000 rounds into a five-kilometer section of jungle. Just, yeah, stay down, oh, bitches. When the trees start talking Vietnamese, okay. the pig just, just removes the trees. How are you doing? Oh, I wondered what the reference to Hey, it. Brother Pritch. Right. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> you drunk? Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. How you doing, Pritch? I've been better. What's the matter? I need to murder everything in my path. Hang on. I shall sort my... 
fixed loadouts, is it? Yeah. Ron, what are you in as? Medic. Yeah, orange box is in your dump box if you want to get rid of anything. Roger. Um, dump it in the orange box. There's been a massive suppression required or fuck up in the force. What happened? Uh, to the, the house I used to live in was an army marine quarter, which got sold on. I then moved into another army marine quarter, um, never thinking anything of it. Welsh Water decided that as soon as the council moved somebody in and the water was being used, that it was me. So they started charging me for it and have now um, put me in arrears and ruined my credit rating. So I've had spent the last two and a half hours in work fending off all of that and passing all of my work on to a private. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I know. It's... It, it, uh, it'll be fine, but it's just uh, been, you know, it's a lot of hassle, yeah, a lot of fucking the paperwork, long drawn out process shit, yeah. of the bureaucracy <laughs> of yep. somebody <laughs> actually <laughs> doing your job. Yep, they said to me, "Oh, we'll get back to you in ten days." So I knew like, you fucking won't. Okay. No, my my response will be, "No, no, no." My lawyer will get in touch with you this afternoon. Yeah, yes, well, yeah. they. I immediately I was sat there uh, stewing in my own juices after having thrown a radio across the room. Fortunately, my private caught it. Um, <laughs> but it, I then I was straight onto their complaints people and was like, right, this is what's going to happen. He was like, um, okay, Mr. Pritchard, I'll get back to you um, by Friday then. Okay, it's like, yes, you will. Yes, you go for you <laughs> Yes. I work for a water company. Kill them all, Jeff. Which one is it? It's not Southwest Water, is it? I owe them quite a bit of money. No, Thames, even worse. Oh, oh. Jesus. Well, Sorry. Is it clean enough to drink? I mean, yeah, hasn't, hasn't Thames we water treat like it being first. Through, I've seen hasn't Thames water been episode. through six different people by the time you drink it? Oh. <laughs> we do clean it in between times. We had a it could be fridge. Southwest water has yes, decided... Uh, you stick with Lord today, and you kill everything you get a chance to, and I'm going to stick with Jess, and we're going to kind of be uh, doing medical for both Hydra and Hades today. Roger that. Uh, I'll keep an eye on Jess. You, you and Lark, uh, you, you do what you do so well. Uh, Roger that, sir. Just don't go charging in too hard so we can't get you back. <laughs> I'll try not to, Jess. This is Hades. That's the only way we know how to charge. Not going to happen. Just don't do a sledge. Uh, if you need to, or you want to, you can dump your suppressors, so they're optional. Oh no, I do have it, but I don't know how many I've got. Yeah, I'm gonna dump my, uh, my mind really detector. We don't need them, so you can dump them. High five. Okay. Yeah, don't we? No, we don't need them today. You put stuff out? And a radio check pipe at zero. Well, no, Nez said there would be no mines. Yeah, but it, wait, if Twan puts some stuff Nez out? Lied. And a radio check, one at five at five. And, uh, that's only Lima Charlie. Thank you, sir. Good evening, Lord. Good evening, sir. Five, five. Check five zero. Come check one five five. Good evening, Charlie. Spot four. Zero, for Make sure those two rounds count. Yeah, well, you know, we're, you know, half of the score, same as me. Watch what you bloody shit. Radio say. check six five. Yeah, we won't waste time. Five five. Righto. I'm just doing sorting my pockets out. Yeah, go ready. Have you got any rockets in your pockets? Damn it. Not enough rockets. I've got a rocket. <laughs> um. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> i got a fair amount of medical supplies. I might actually hang on to them. I recommend it. Yeah, just, uh, it's all in my backpack, basically. So at any point, if we're, you're in my vicinity and you need some, just open her up, grab it out. Radio check 135. Liam McCarley. Radio check 60. Twam, I'm dumping TNT charges. Yeah, I got uh, yeah. four on me as well. Mine. Uh, mine, thank you. Mine. Mine. Hi, Ron. Just start calling him a seagull. It's my job to do everything. I'll be able to anyway. 
Or just stolen everything that the crews get rid of. All right, look, uh, I got some explosives and a clock around me, so if you guys need to blow something up, let me know. Okay, yep. cool. And all the ammunition and grenades. <laughs> and, and, and everybody, evening, guys. can I suggest not take oh, kind of all of the smoke grenades? Where is Nez? Oh, he's fine. Found us. Oh, the you want to understand uh, this, this grumpy old fuck tonight? Who's a grumpy old fuck tonight? Me. Always. Ha ah. ha! Just grab <laughs> No, you're not. As, no, we, as there's no white smoke, use blue smoke for... Bad day. No joke tonight. Hard, hard day. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Um, it but was going so well, like I was saying, up until about four o'clock, you know, and then it all went to rat shit, but... How's Dad doing? As Darby knew, boy. Actually, uh, that, that was a high point line. of the day. He, uh, he, I spoke to him this morning. He had um, some biopsies taken yesterday. Um, results in about seven to ten days, but he's feeling really good, and it was just nice hearing him sounding up. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so I'm, but that bit was all right. Well, he was swelling so up because he finally got that biopsy out of the way. You don't have to worry about the needles anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Because he had, like, yeah. his first words. I said, how did biopsy go? You have fucking big needles. Straight in and out. And he went, no. Of course not. No. They got to they dig around. Yeah, he was... But when I, I, I said I fitted him, and he was like, oh, I'm all right. He said, don't for piss down two minutes. Nice. He, he was like, thanks for ringing. I was like, no, well, you know. But yeah. Um, and then I spent the afternoon testing radios uh, that don't work. And then the Welsh water thing kicked off. So yeah, it's been a bit of a day today. Uh, like I said, now you get to kill stuff. Fucking right. Blow stuff up. Oh, I told I told Lord uh, I have uh, explosives on me and a clacker if you guys need it. I just like the taste of it. Do you want to go red as well? Rojo. I've got friends like that. I was once uh, offered quite a is lot Mr. of it. Mr. Tokyo coming tonight, like... or is he off? Uh, no, he said he was coming. And there's, oh. a, there's a business that's yeah. like, well appointed and minted. Or not. It was just I'll be right back. I'm going to check, see yeah, if he's on. Roger. Yeah, you sound like you're in a And he was just offering the port no. every time. Holy cow, an M60. <laughs> My mate was taking uh, yeah. it, and I was just too pissed to Where'd drink port. Too sweet. sweet. Nice. Everything will die. Don't be so sure. <laughs> yeah, true. Short barrel. Were you in training? <laughs> uh, no, I, well, I got in about an hour and a half into it, so I missed most of it. Yeah, but then you know, part just of make sure to be really careful with your yes. safety charge because I'm pretty sure you have just very Just follow the lead of those who were. And there's no reason why I'm already always. If we're being done. And remember bounding. That's all I'm saying. Oh God, it's starting to sound like work again. <laughs> Well, you would play games that simulate your work. Charlie, give covering fire. Delta, move! Well, Joe's well, not on at the moment. Well, it might not come down to that level of precision, but, uh, yeah. Help, but it's gonna be fun. I'm thinking I'm dead people. Yeah, precision. Standard yeah. operating uh, procedure. May I, you might recently... Yeah. Can you reslot, I think? Because I like, may have just bugged my ammo out, which I am taking that you back back. It's now no longer in your backpack. But yeah, Pritch, if you want to get stuff out of the water company, just keep complaining. Because the more uh, I was trying to take the complaints happen, so the more it drives up, uh, yeah, drives yeah, down their customer service score, and they get whacked for that in terms of CSAT score. You might need to take a and reslot. the more complaints that they get, even for, and especially repeat complaints from the same in person, they get really um, kicked for yeah, that. Yeah, so, they, <laughs> they need to uh, fix my credit score, that's the main thing. If you, re if you really want to hurt them, write them a letter. Briefing. That counts as a much Briefing. bigger... Briefing. Yeah. Briefing. Yeah. Briefing. Yeah. Talk to me Briefing. if you want some pointers. Briefing. 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 There's a briefing going on. Briefing. 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 Um, is this a briefing? Yeah. Is there a briefing for the briefing? It's only a debriefing. You've changed trousers. Somebody brief me. A pre-briefing. Can somebody debrief? Brief. Brief. This is a pre surrender. All right, Nez, we ready to start? Yes. Oh, we briefing. can have a briefing. All right, everyone. Brief. Welcome to our first mission of Disavowed. This is Nez's campaign. And 
unfortunately you stuck with me as OC so uh, please bear with me on all of this um, oops all right uh, mission is uh, we're used they're gonna using the cover of the joint joint as a joint training mission with the NATO forces to locate a rogue group that has been disavowed by the uh, United Nations as uh, for war crimes because they want to be they want them picked up brought in and tried for war crimes as you can see we are tonight's mission is going to be on Altus everybody is pretty much familiar with this you've been here plenty of times um, the rogue group was a NATO partner uh, similar to how we are with the uh, with NATO due to past uh, cooperation the group has supplies left on the island and we're going to be go using using these supplies as we need um, if you all will look at your maps real quick we're going to proceed from this location and head kind of east northeast towards the supply base that's about one uh, about a mile away or 1.6 kilometers for those of you who still like to use that what we're going to do is when we get there we're going to set up a uh, we'll set up a small perimeter to to uh, to provide security because we do not know where the um, rogue element is and as a reminder these people are some people we may have worked with in the past so we may have still have good standing with them if you see them let us know we're going to try to talk to talk some sense into them however if for any reason they decide not to talk and they want to shoot all cards are off the table um, and they will be treated as regular hostiles any questions on that all right very good when we get there there's a cargo Vic uh, Sir Tuan uh, has been uh, ch chosen to uh, to drive the Vic um, the, you, as you can see at that site there's uh, six domes in the shape of, a, of squares the, what numbered one through six Alright, we just uh, had a NATO aircraft. Alright, everybody. Um, what we'll do is uh, we're gonna. Alright, well, when we get to the uh, to the resupply site, we're gonna load up the uh, crates onto the Hammond. We'll get our vehicles, and we'll move out in front of number uh, in front of one of them. Number. Let me check again. Five, number number five. There's some optics, and so when you get there, you can put some optics on your weapons. Um. Any questions so far? All right, it's a simple, straightforward mission. We're trying to find some people. Some <laughs> Paratroopers ahead. Priority, get to the su supply base. Uh, let's get security out. are the rogue element. TFA is the rogue element. It's us against NATO. Copy. Well, the moment a marathon we're in a go blue. Well, that was scary. Yeah. All right, stick mean? close to me, Jess. Copy. Catch up.
fire only if necessary. Try to continue to move. Fridge pushing. If you die between here and uh, base one, base one is res uh, a respawn site. So uh, if you die, you will respawn. Just provide security until we get there. Copy. If he's heard in the sheet, back of the pack. On Jackal. Get past me. Quick goes back up. That's unclear. Copy, Ron, you're well ahead of me. We told the, we told the KP to not touch the cookie ball. Hmm. He did it anyway. Yeah, I'm last man seven. And we were hear shots. Yeah, the domes are probably going to be, uh, Occupied. Good. Oh, have we had any announcements as to what's going on yet? Uh, well, we're heading to the domes over there to get our supplies. That's where our supplies are. Uh... Yeah, got that much. And we might have to fight to get it back. Gap in the fence where I just went through. Tell you what, Jess, you get him. Got him, 10 seconds. Roger, it's Roger, all for right. show. Uh, we okay, have to go uh, through the process of loading the boxes. Well, so that's a negative on the optics upgrade, then. No, no, there should be a box there. Negative, negative. The box, the box marked optics is empty. I'm sorry, that's what I was referring to. Our, uh, our sector is going to be east. Copy. Get to the 
for it and get some optics. Uh, make sure you're pulling security. Uh, get everybody down to uh, rotate through to grab uh, optics. Is that a friendly uh, engine? We're looking for Sir Tuan in yes. the Hemet. He can begin uh, picking up the uh, supplies. Waiting for Jess. Well, Joe. I'm on the east side. Where are you, where are you guys? We're heading over to get some optics. Copy. Hi, hi, just got a Vic. In the dome on the east, uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're providing cover for the east. Okay, make sure uh, priority get in here and get your uh, your optic. Where are the crates? By the vehicle, center flag, my position. Roger. We're going east, yeah? Roger. Got my optics. If you got somebody uh, that's not doing anything, have them grab the crate and bring it out to the road, waiting for the hammock to come by to pick it up. Watching east. Which squad's loading the crates? Bridge head up this way. It is dumb. The one with the hotel frag. Alright, uh, uh, Jess sure. set I up a uh, CCP uh, right here. Got a, uh, I'm gonna be on the other well. side. I'll be on the other side, the east side of the dome. Copy, call me if you need me. Roger. Roger, if you need me, call me. Copy. Okay, Apollo, when we move out, we CCP up, marked, green flag on map. Might want to call it up. Hotel Hades. Hades Hotel. Uh, yeah, we have a CCP marked on map for anyone that needs medical. Roger, I'll put it up. I'm on the east in the tower, just watching east. Hydrage. Copy, I'm two on the minutes. east, uh, right Those outside the dome, covering the road. Depart in two minutes. Yeah, I've got to watch over the road. I also fell off one hemet, and it managed to make my whole body bleed. You know, because that's what, I mean, not a hemet, Hesco. <laughs> Hotel has lead. You want to fix it up? Lead. So, uh, oh, you know. any hotel vehicle that's armored will uh, lead the way. I, I guess we can I'll fall in second, and then the second yeah. squad vehicle behind. You know. Hey, Bridge, let's move up a little bit. I want to kind of uh, go down to the end of this road. Tower. Yeah, I can see it from here. Helicopter. Ah, just a flyover. Yeah, it's just a choke. Hopefully they're just trying to scare us. Yeah, they're just ambient flybys. And there's a lot of them. I mean, the fact that the Apaches didn't light us up, I mean, huh? Obviously wants it the Hague real bad. Oh, I hope they don't have troops in. 
Nah, it's ambient. Hotel Elements, go ahead, let's roll out. Uh, Hydra, take the lead. I'll Hydra, follow. Point. Okay, Hades, Hades, mount up. And then the uh, Hemet will be between uh, Hades and Alpha. Which vehicle do you want us on, Red? I think we got another truck. I don't know if we're going with... Uh, on the Hammond, or if we're going in this truck, or what? I think there was another vehicle. Which truck? I'm trying to figure that out now. Hotel Hades. They all seem to be leaving without us. Where are they you? got some landies here. Should we take a landy? Um... Uh, we're supposed to be in one of these vehicles, but I just don't know which Hurry one. Out, uh, which vehicle do you want us in, uh, Red? Hey, uh, just take one. Uh, yeah, hopefully an armored one. Alright, grab one, yeah. Okay. I'll come with you. I'm in the, uh, Land gonna... Rover on the right-hand side of them. There he is. Got a weapon? Time to go, time to go. While you're in here, I could use a stitch. Shit. I'll sort ya. Thank you. Yeah, I'm stitching out. From the bottom of my deep cuts, I think the... Yeah, one one has to go barrier. I jumped down. That's what happened. Out. I love Arma. Packing ten seconds. Wonder what happened to the cargo trucks. Hotel Hades. Uh, the helmet's up in front of us. Joy. Hotel Hades is the trail vehicle. Copy. You know they said drive it like you stole it, Bridge. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, I suppose we really did steal it. And we're doing what? fine. We're subversives. It's my works vehicle as well. Whoa, rubber banding, watch it. All right, don't push up too much further. Stay in this uh, section of the uh, line. Right We're not trailing contact. anymore. Whoa. Any contact Whoa. right through unless Hang there's on. something we can uh, make. Wow. That's some rubber banding, seriously. <laughs> I thought okay. we were in that building. First Apologies. Up. First uh, what up, you? Drunk. Go ahead, push through. Just push through. I thought we were dead for sure there. Yeah, me too. Especially when we hit the building the third time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, oh, we're gonna blow up. Oh, okay. Well, what did you sorry. just do? Uh, um, that it, phantom. It, yeah, phantom it rubber banded on me. Sorry. Are we all right? No. Mm, well, are we all fucked? Well, no, let's change it. We got armored then. <laughs> Hotel Hades. Tell them to leave us behind. I wish Red Hades right. Hotel. Uh, we had a little problem with the vehicle. We got uh, armored and uh, we're repairing the vehicle at the moment. Copy. Copy. Is anybody hurt? Mm, no. I don't think so. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, I am. Okay. Well, we kind of need another deal. I'll sort, get whatever, everyone get in and I'll fix you up. I'm okay, I'm just, I'm three, I've got four oh, stars left, I'll be fine. Hotel Hades. All good. 
Hey, hotel. Yeah, it looks like we uh, lost two wheels and we only have one spare. Get out and run. It's a little far. Roger, is there some way you can uh, you can uh, get back? Yeah, we're gonna give it a shot with the vehicle. If not, we'll go on foot. Can you drive I mean, the stick on three wheels? I mean, yeah. Yeah, some you can, some you can't. Well, this is fun. This is one that you can't. Uh, it looks like everybody, this is one that we everybody, can. lean left. Yeah, really. How far is it to the next one? Sorry about that, chaps. It, uh, just as we were Dude, it wasn't you. Not your fault, we got armored. We, we, one second we were on the road, uh, the Looks like we got Spartan heading post. back towards us. It's like two clicks well, away. Yeah, Hades, sorry, I'm on the way back to you now. Hotel, I have yeah, hydrogen in the clearing compound. Roger, Copy. thank you. Yeah, we can't drive this thing. It's uh, not moving at all. We hit a phantom uh, uh, bit of clover, and it took our, our, our wheels out. I, uh... Drink is coming with the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Back in your Rip. guns, ten seconds. Thank oh you. god, drink. Is it oh, still? <laughs> you got Okay. Thank you, Ray. Well, that was fun. All right, we're mobile again. Thank you. Hotel hey, Hades. Keep one of your we are on the move. I'm going to need them on the gun. Keep one of them dismounted inbound. I need a gunner. Okay, but we're quite a ways away. But I'll gun. Fine. Who's that? Don't know. Hold up. Mm. Enemy, oh, enemy, it's, enemy. It, it, it's not one of ours. Who, behind us? No, to the, uh, to our right. Uh, there's just a few shots. We're gonna push through. They already pushed hey, through. Hey, do you have to take the lead on Do you want me to take that fucking... Oh, I see. He wants somebody in the turret. Yeah. Yeah, slot in behind me. Whoa. Whoa. We're Whoa, getting I'm some fun. serious rubber banding here. Whoa, just stop. Whoa, just shit. Just stop. Oh, All right, okay. everybody else, flip the vehicle. The indirect on this thing. We should have just run in the first place. Shit. Yeah, we'll have to uh, tow it. Hades, I'm wounded, moving to your location now. Do not push up, I'm under fire. Do not push up. Copy, now pushing up. Come to us. Just set up set up a triage somewhere that's safe. Added a line of fire. Uh, Spartan was armored. Uh, back by the truck. Uh, coming back in. Get a bearing on contact. Negative. 329, but he's down. Pushing. CCP marked on map green flag. I hear an engine again. All right, you guys push. I'm gonna stay with uh, Jess. Grinkle, she's right behind you. Yeah, no, I'm good. Let's get into cover. Oh, okay. Hey, Lartman, what type of ammo do you need? 762 by 51. 762 by 51. This is fun.
understand 76251. I'm looking at a box now. It looks like the only thing here is a bunch of 240 ammo. Copy. 240 is 762, isn't it? Yeah, I'll grab a couple of those and see if uh, they'll help you. Copy. That sounds like a help. Copy. Yeah. I'm gonna. There's a. Hum, there's I'm a. Uh, some trenches man too. talking today. To there is a landy here cover. with a busted wheel. We could fix it. Okay, those helicopters for me are banding back and forth. That's really weird. I don't think I've ever played a game with this many issues. Oh, you'll get used to it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what's causing it. Lag. Hades, That's hydra. Just lag from the server. Uh, regroup on me. Let's go take out these fucking. AT gunners ahead before we lose even more vehicles. Taking a, a wheel off this one and putting it on the other one. Did you guys copy, uh, Grinkle? Uh, I know, I, all I know is that approximately 200 meters southeast of us is another AT gang. 200 meters southeast? You want me to uh, fix the yeah, landy up here? The road, on the corner, just down there, there's another couple of um, AT guns. Um, so we got a, uh, we got some AT problems about 200 meters southeast of here. Maybe we should off-road this. We're probably gonna need the Vic. Eventually. Let me fix it and I'll meet you. Roger. Grink, they're gonna fix it. They're fixing a vehicle at the moment, and then they're coming up. Yeah, I found. Uh, just be advised, Hades. Uh, we've got inbound friendly north. Inbound friendly yes, north. Yeah. Copy. Uh, send word. I need Jess on me. All right, Jess, let's go. You I'm need some. Spartan down. My location, north of you. I copy. Coming. We're on our way. Roger, thank Landy you. fixed. Yeah, it is really bad. Um, Where are you, Grink? Oh, there you go. It's got two wheels down. Are we all, gonna all right, let's get the guys loaded up. We'll get the hell out of here. Jason. Hey, we got helicopters landing on the south. Okay, we're all Guns, we're almost all in. She not working. had a major accident in the town. Uh, I'm riding with... Uh, Okay, yeah, we're rolling. We're missing group and we're going to be rolling. All in, all in. Vehicle needs fixing. Engine's out. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, let's. What about. Is that Landy okay other than kit tires? Let's check it. Not sure. Negative. It's fucked too. Okay, well. We got an engineer. Good, Grink, you got an engineer? Luckily, stamina's off so we can run. Alright, come on, let's go. Copy.
Man, we're having a rough day with vehicles. None of it our fault either. I've never seen the uh, rubber banding that bad before. No me. We should be looking for some cover. I hear choppers. I can see them. There, there's, there are uh, one, two, yeah. three, four, five of them oh, that I see. Let's go. Guns is in. Let you other, tell, tell the other guys to uh, meet us at the road. Now we'll pick them up. Hey everyone, re meet us on the road, Chasen. and we'll pick everyone up. Ray has got a vehicle. Copy, uh, we're running along the road. Thanks, Ray. Hydra, uh, uh, Ray has a vehicle. Stay along the road, we'll pick you up. Hey, Fab. MRAP bearing the one. I'm gonna fix you up, Ray. Alright, guys, hop in. Thanks, Jess. I'll wait for you. Uh, did you see, did you spy the. Alright, Ray, you driving, yeah? There is an yeah. AT team about 200 meters ahead of us down the road, so they just fucking bin it, mate. Uh, We're just gonna run it. Yeah. Uh, passenger seat will get you in lot. There's only one guy yeah, in front. I'm in. I'm in. What a day! What a fucking yeah. day, man! Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? This is all this is all rubber band shit. It's not really our fault. Yeah, it is. It's all rubber band. I've never seen it this bad. No, me either. That's a lot of helicopters. It may be adding to the lag. Yeah, yeah, I'm being usually do. Putting some fluids in your ray. I will pass for the AP. I don't know if those helicopters are ambient or if they're attacking. Stitching, yeah. Some of them are attacking. A little both. Oh. oh, for goodness sake. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> It is, yeah, Keystone. It's one Packing of those right days. Oh no! Oh, I thought we were gonna. Get totally back together, Ray. After that, right, that wall. Ray, come thing. south, come south, Ray. Ray is an excellent driver. Ray, we're yes. going, we're going, we're going, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> the other south. <laughs> south we're the west. burning out west. Hate fucking map. Follow the map. <laughs> Leave the driver alone, he's Air Force. <laughs> Is that friendly or no? Is that friendly or no? They don't look like friendlies. No, they're not. They're wearing UDP. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're wearing uh, whatever UDC, UP, UCP. Oh, oh boy. Let, let them know. East side, east side, you've got a fucking ton of hostiles. East side, on those helos. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yes. All right, everybody, we're out, out, people. I'm moving to the tower. Copy, Jess. Everybody on me responding on the east side. Come over here, Jess. Jess, come to me. Coming. All right. CCP here. Okay, it's the perfect spot for it. Got mines here. Going up the tower guns. Roger. I'm going out to the uh, opening, to the entrance. Okay, Hades, Hydra, CCP marked on map, green flag. Reloading. See all these bodies. Yeah, I see nothing. Bodies. Where are you seeing them, Brink? Hi, couple of uh, Be careful, Twan. Put some uh, explosives out. Yeah, DM, DM went to get more ammo. Okay, 
guys with balaclavas as well to the south. I hide your house. Thank you, sir. Is there a medic uh, Yeah, the CCP uh, is right on the other side of that green wall, right there by the tower. Right over here, Wolf. Right behind there, right underneath the tower. It's marked on map. 019. Good job, man. White smoke, 019. I count me. me. Hotel elements, there are... Hotel elements, there are ammo crates. Uh, vicinity, the hotel respawn Humvee. Uh, smoke, There's uh, lots of ammo there if you need to resupply ammo. I'm detecting explosives on my location. Yeah, I think that's Twan setting explosives on the uh, on the helicopters. No, that uh, we don't have mines. We only have explosives. Oh, I just shot a rabbit that was sneaking up on us. Dinner. We give one you rabbit. Cheers, my dear. Is that a javelin out there? I'm gonna go grab that. He had a dead man switch on him. I'm gonna go grab that. Uh, hey, guns. Hey, hey D's health check. Guns, green, green. green. Rich Green Green. QRF inbound. QRF inbound. Hotel is uh, Green Green. Copy hotel. Do we have a direction of the uh, direction, QRF? QRF. Uh, expect it uh, coming in from air in all directions. <laughs> okay. 360 get boys and girls. Rich is in the tower yeah. on the east side. Same, I'm in the lower tower. Yeah, the island is opening uh, at uh, the northeast side, right next to the uh, CCP. Yellow smoke, very 356. Plane's coming over. Yeah, hey, watch Greg, you might you, you might want to get Mayo out of the middle of that field. Yeah, Mayo, come back in, man. Back in. I got an MRAP uh, bearing no one three five. Uh, can't shoot through that, so I'll have to take AT on it. Yeah, Roger, I'm on it. Yeah, Mayo, I don't think they're letting us pick up enemy weapons. That's rude. Yeah, I know. Emrop splash! Hurrah! Nice one, Bridge. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Guess what, Bridge? I think we pissed off that chopper. <laughs> Wolf, the CCP is right behind you Should under the went. tower. It looks like it might be doing something. CCP is right behind you under the tower. We got a helicopter landing to the north. Reloading. I'm getting engaged by a Black Hawk 036. Roger, we're firing at it. Going for ammo. Reloading.
Oh, did I just shoot you? Whoa! Dismounted troops from that helicopter. Multiple troops at 028. Make sure you double and triple top them. Reloading. The helo crew is down on that Black Hawk at 037. Yeah, I fucked them up pretty good. Copy. 80 status check. Green. Green and pissed off. Ammo green, is green. Uh, red. Yeah, we feel scared. Hey, uh, don't forget to start running low on ammo. Get back there and resupply. Yeah, there's a resupply back there, uh, Lord. Right next Got to you. my vehicle, right next to my vehicle. Okay, I'm, I'm bailing out to get the ammo. Roger. Smoke zero two eight. Thank you, Wolf. Uh, and there's ammo crates over by my Humvee, by that, uh, that, uh, beat up looking, uh, deuce and a half. See, thank you. Lord, let me know when you're back this way I can go. Copy. Hotel Elements, Hotel Elements. On command, be prepared to mount vehicles and leave immediately. Uh, negative. Hotel has no, zero no. times vehicles. Stand by, stand by. Listen, on command. I'm just giving you a warning order. Yeah, negative. I, I'm trying to inform you we have no vehicles. Hide truck down. Hades truck down. Roger. There is a, um, uh, Roger, uh, I guess. Look, how, how many people can I get in the uh, Hades truck? Hades truck is dead. Uh, correction, hotel truck. Uh, well, I think we had like six, didn't we? Unknown, to be honest. There's a helo out there. <laughs> Just saying. Are you back, Lord? Yeah, I'm back. Go ahead. Copy. Alright, I'm gonna go get some ammo. Yeah, I put about full route max from 762 in it. Uh, 
Uh, helicopter disappeared. Hey, D's health check. Contacts. Fresh green, 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 green. Nine, three, two, nine. Waves up, green, green. Copy. Reloading. Contact Northwest. You guys get him? You okay, Jess? Yep, absolutely fine. You alright? Yep, I'm fine. If you want, you can stick your head around the corner and do some shooting. Don't want to get my head shot off, but it's tempting. <laughs> but I mean, if you get bored. Oh! Let's see what we got. I'll be right up over here, so I'll be keeping an eye on you. In case people need me. Right, yeah. Just, like, right here is good if you can. Negative, we had down the two times vehicle. Yeah, sorry, yeah, space, but uh, we tried, we just tried. May I, uh, please, uh, clear this channel two seconds, sorry. Uh, yeah, we've tried scavenging some vehicles, but were denied by Zeus, so uh, we're not entirely sure how to proceed. Sounds like we have contacts still out there to the north somewhere. Yeah, I'm searching for them now. Scene, bearing 330. Down. He's down. Good shot. Another one, 335. Well, we don't have a vehicle yet, so we're not entirely sure we're not moving. So. <laughs> uh, Vic, we see uh, southeast heading towards us. Top up with ammo when you when while we got the law. We got strikers coming in from the north southeast. Strikers, three strikers. I'm getting down. God, Wolf, your back back blast is clear. Flying, I'm down to two mags. Copy, I'm getting down. That, that's three strikers with uh, crows on top. I'm, I'm down. I'm not going to get up. Hit him, Wolf! Negative. 
Hades, health check. Green, green. Please look green. There's no boost on nearby, so I'm gonna have to. Ow! I got blowed up. Hey, What's up, Wolf? Yeah, I got I got a chunk taken out of me. Yeah, let's head over there. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. We have seven minutes you here. Don't. We gotta hold out for seven minutes. Oh, I drive. Am I driving? Do you drive? You drive. Roger. You drive. We understand that. Uh, where am I going? Navigate. South. Oh, God damn it. We just lost the tire. God damn it. That hurt a bit. I got it. Hey, uh, Sir Twan, or can we get somebody out there to see if one of those vehicles or two of those vehicles can be recovered? Can we have contact to the east? <sighs> Thank you. Red, go for one of them trucks. All right. Let's Roger, go. we've got somebody down there working on it now. Roger, I understand they are uh, non enterable. Does anyone know if guns respawn? Yes, I respawn. I'm heading there now. Sorry, get, away, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away. Follow this way. Negative. Back out. Damn, this thing sucks, dear. Apollo Alpha. Please go ahead. Shall I come to you? Damn, that was scary. <laughs> Send for Apollo. Uh, get down the tower. Everyone rejoin south side of the base. Right, We're gonna move tower. on foot. On foot. Copy that. Yeah, it's doing coming. East, southeast. Hotel elements, hotel elements. We're going to be moving out on foot. Moving out on foot. Striker southeast. Opening up with 50. MSR all the way to the town. Run. God, this thing steers like shit. The lag doesn't help either. I can hear the gunshots now. Yeah. Striker proceeding to the southwest. Watch on the south side. There was stingers outside the. Uh, it's now stopped. Roof where uh, I was. Bearing 142 from the east gate. Other side of the green wall. Up on one, huh? You have any explosives or AT uh, in your squad? We've got a few next road on the left. No way. Watch out for vehicles. 
Copy, we're gonna try to clear the entrance northeast. There's still an active uh, striker. Watch out for the striker. There's a striker right there. Right, I see it. They're, they're turning right here. <laughs> ah, I missed us. It's the other side of that green well bridge. Get in this way. Hey, health check. We're climbing. We're climbing the wall. Climb the wall. Bridge green. He's over there, Bridge. I'm going to drop a grenade on the bastard. Yeah, he's just coming, so, coming yeah, on the sir. other side of the wall. We're, we've down to the road. And he's he's bugging out. He's bugging out. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Okay, he was bugging out. Bridge! Get in that tower and smoke him. Yeah. If anybody's got AT, it's a good time to use it. Guns, you inbound yet? Yeah, I'm looking for you guys now. Uh, still at the CCP area. Copy. I'll draw his fire, you kill him. Still up. Hey, Jet, I'm back. Shoot his tires, maybe he'll dismount. Hi, uh, oh, is that Any damage should make me do that. Yeah, our weapons can't hurt anything other than tires. Reload. Is that the only? Copy. Uh, guns got killed again. There is no vehicle here. Oh, negative. Never mind. There's a pole. Hey, can we get demo thrown on it, or did it drive away again? No, it's right outside the gate. I got demo on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to uh, sneak up on it and see if I can get demo planted on it. So, I mean, fuck, what are we supposed to do? Spit at it? Use harsh language. Harsh words. Pritch is down. Oh, Pritch is dead. Doc was down. Echo's dead. Right, just cover the shit out of me. I'm moving. I 
We're aware, Alpha, don't worry. <laughs> Fucking hell. Is this hello, Alpha. Jeez, hello. Yeah, I mean, I've been. Is this only, a Mascaz? I've only been putting it out on the fucking radio for the past 15 minutes. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, look, Guns, white and blue. you still with us? Your yeah, front gate, there. front gate. I cleared our front gate so we can move out. Yeah, I'd have to crawl out and fucking get one, mate. Yes, Ron. <coughs> Alright, guys, good job on the bad conditions. Uh, we need to get these things cleared so we can get the hell out of here. Yeah, guns is at the Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, sandbags guns. cleared from the entryway. Stay with me, guns. Right, work on guns. You should still be there. I'm working on guns. DMs down hard. Let me secure eight. Down, down. Second of thousand. Yeah, Gimpy organised the defensive, got the guns down here. Uh, DM, to the I'm with you, out. Hellcat. <laughs> I'm on the guns with you. Out. I heard this is repeatable. He's under the tower. Working on the leg. Hades, med check. Green, green. IK8, so I'm green. Got a heart rate 103. Uh, Lord will have some vehicles ready for us at the next location. Three medics is too many medics. Hotel Element, so let's get the uh, let's get the sandbags cleared. Come back and get ammo resupply, and then uh, get ready to roll. I got him. I see him. I'm awake. Well done, boys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Packing your guns. 18 seconds. If you want something like that, just crawl out there, grab the cabinet. Okay, we're gonna uh, we're gonna embark on the vehicle north. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not commenting on you, look, man. I'm commenting on the 15 minutes of real. Just put Wilson Red back together. Uh, as soon as you get everybody You're good, guns. Right. Hey, Apollo, thank you very much. Thanks, Jess. Anybody else need fixing up? The rest of it will be on foot. Copy. Is there any ammo recently? Uh, yeah, if it's still on the truck. Uh, what are we doing? Hotel Hades. I'm hearing fire. Roger, Roger. Go ahead, get your ammo resupply. Roger, Red. Uh, I've been out the whole time. I just came to. What's uh, what are we doing? So sorry, again. Red. Sorry, Red. That went over. Oh, that was the wrong net. Um, we're gonna walk and catch you guys up because we need this fucking reasonably. Yeah. Roger. Uh, just got word. Uh, we need. All right, I'm gonna. I need resupply. I'm good. Is no good time for me to grab okay. resupply. Yeah, come yeah, with me, Jess. Jess. Yeah, come and resupply now. Right now. Guns, uh, I need uh, 80s, I need a driver, I uh, need uh, three guys. Uh, I want you to go ahead and take the Hotel uh, Humvee and you're going to go down and uh, part of this uh, vehicle uh, strike to go down and secure vehicles. Copy. Red, I've got a, I've got a Land Rover. Roger, I understand, you got a Land Rover. Uh, Hydra. Give uh, one driver to uh, uh, Pritch in the Land Rover, and uh, no, we'll we'll go. I'm driving it. I'm going with the. Uh, I'm going with Pritch. Understood. Hey, 
Hades, where are you? I'm at Hades the resupply crate. Hades, I would advise getting a medical supplies top up if you can. Your lift is here. Nice. Yay! Oh, by the way, Jess, good job. Oh, Hi, Hotel she always Riker. does a we good a job. We're going to mount up now. Roger, uh, I can use it. If we need somebody, we can uh, use a driver what, in my vehicle. I'll tell you what, it's really scary just sitting around while the bullets are flying, wait to fix people up sometimes. Uh, guns is in. We're all in it. Hades is in, I think. Yeah, I mean, got a lot of strikers. Hotel Hades is all mounted up. Roger, Let's hope we can actually uh, get this truck to the finish line. to the southeast. Well, I guess the road. Yeah, we got to go southeast. Okay, we're going to RV at RV uh, Take a right. Everybody to at RV the, Bank. At the road. I, I can uh, carry a couple just going, people. Right? Yeah, we're just, uh, we're just going. go to RV. Uh, Take a right. Roger. If so did you guys get a good piece of the end of the T junction? But if you need a ride, I'm by the uh, gate. I'm sitting here. Okay, where, where we need to go? Proceed to the T junction. Down the road. Proceed to the T junction. And someone's hit in the back. Who got hit? I'm fine. Hey, Jess, you sure I saw blood come off you? I'm Is fine. anybody left in a compound? Guns is fine. This is spank. Is anybody that was packing the fridge. fridge. It was fridge. I'm packing him. Yep, got him up. Red Nez is there on the other side of the wall shooting people. So you know, just saying. All right, Fritch, you're good to go. Roger, I'm just following the other vehicle. Yeah. I guess so. Packing your lart. Ten seconds. Oh, it was me that got hit. It was both of you. You and you and. Uh, uh, Pritch were both, uh, wounded. Didn't oh, come up. Okay. Alright, you're good. Sorry, boys, that didn't come up for me. Oh. Jess, when you put the, when you're going through the passenger Where list, you, if you Jess? put your, uh... Uh, where you at, Jess? Did I go? Uh, oh. Hades is, uh, on the road heading towards the RV point. We're with Hydra. We're, we're, we're going to leftover trucks, so we're headed towards whatever the objective is. Airfield. Alpha's coming back. Uh, Red, we're headed towards the airfield. Where the uh, vehicle marker is. Am I needed somewhere? Do you need a truck from here still? Okay, I think that Shit. was the objective, was to get those trucks. Yeah, that was Maybe the we should objective. just wait here? Should we just wait here? Because we have to go this way anyway. Uh, Red, we uh, just passed all of the uh, trucks that we were supposed to get. They're on their way back. Do we stay here or you want us to come back? Uh, come back. Roger. Yeah, head back. Road trip. You want me to drive, Fritch? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Define good. <laughs> uh, well, um, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> as well as could be that. expected. Let's put it like that. Or do we mean excellent? It's always I'm excellent. Not, I am not crashing into anything again. Why did you say that? Out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Stop tempting Murphy. Exactly. Wow, we got shot up. Okay, remember rubber band, don't run in the back of this fucker. Yeah, keep a good distance. And they're having just as much trouble steering as we are. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did pass my driving test with Gun, by the way, Guns. Oh, nice. nice. I am not volunteering for this stuff, though, any time soon. <laughs> nah, as medic, we're too close. As medic, you're emergency. not going to be doing much driving. In an emergency, but I ain't crazy. Well, don't go too far past them. In case right, anything right, happens you, and they uh, get ambushed, we're going to need to help them. Is that correct? Yeah, we're almost there. If Red was calling for me, I'm probably needed, aren't I? Yeah, Red, we're escorting Apollo back. Roger. That's one word for it. Yeah. Oh, Gimp has lost connection again. Hope he wasn't driving. <laughs> yeah, that would be inconvenient. Depends if the AI drives better than he does. We got inbound troops. He wants us to move. We're here. Sweet. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I I've got empty sheets if anybody needs loaded. Hey, this thing's got a snorkel on it. We could use that last uh, last mission. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm glad I got rid of all my smoke. I still got mine on me, so. but I only got blue and red. You mean mine? That's all I got. My that gun, like my ammo, medical supplies, and smoke. Is that our cargo thingy? Yeah. Oh crap, I grabbed the wrong friggin' ammo. Four? Oh. Yeah, I grabbed the box ammo. Box ammo? Yeah, 100 round M240 box. I, had, I saw an M62. Oh. Well, I, I can use it. <laughs> I put it all in the vehicle. Guns, go, go in my backpack. I'll have spare mags. I have no, I got, I got one on me. I'll just hit the, uh, I'll hit the uh, thing when we get there. Seriously, take my spares. I haven't shot anything tonight. And I got ammo as well, You guns. may need them. I'll be good. No, not if you guys are doing the, your job, right? Well, I'll grab them if I need them, but uh, if, as you soon as we get back, I'll hit the, uh, the crate. Negative. Okay, but yeah, they're, they're talking about something. I think we're going to go there and set a perimeter? I want to ask... Uh, Red, we're going there to set up a perimeter at the air base, is that where we're going? Hotel Hades. Hotel. Are we heading there to set up a perimeter at the base? Uh, we're going to move in, set up a perimeter, defensive perimeter around the uh, Humvees. Set up a perimeter around, uh, correction, a perimeter around the C-47. Protecting C-47, okay. C-47, on command. We're allowed that the... the uh, are you using uh, M61 hold on, AP? Hold, hold on a second. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, set a perimeter up there around the uh, C-17s. Yeah, we got to we gotta get the, Yeah, we got to get them loaded up fast and get them out. I'm sorry, what were you saying, right. Jess? Are you using uh, M61 AP? I'm using Tracer, but AP works. Contact we got shots. Hi, Jump. in contact Blow me. Blowing through. Is that Hydra there? That's Hydra. Roger. Uh, security perimeter around the, event, the aircraft when we get there. Uh, we do not expect the uh, operation. I can put you some bags in the crate if you want to take them, guns. Uh, looks like Hydra stopped. Yeah, I, I don't see a vehicle. Did they walk out? I mean, that's a long way. Hydra Hades. Contact right. We need to move. We need to move. Yeah, we need to move. Um, turn around, head back. Yep. We can't leave them. Hydra Hades. We don't have enough to carry them. Send her down. No, but we can help defend them. We got contacts on our left. Go ahead. Yeah. Right, head head back around. Yeah, head over to where they are. 
Hotel, uh, uh, Hades headed back to Hydra. Cop. Hydra, get in that damn truck. Don't pass him, fuckers. Let him load up. Oh, oh my god. Bridge. Yeah. Turn around, you passed him. No, 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 they're there. no, no, they're there. Oh, okay. I'm talking about, talking about the, the, the frickin' troop truck ran right by him. Yeah. Stop yeah, and right. pick your guys up, for Christ's sake. Oh man, the true truck went right by you guys. No fucking idea how pissed I am right now. Do we have any more Drink, are you monitoring 155? Uh, not 155, no. We can take one uh, more. You're on 65, right? Guys, pull back and get into Hotel Strong. Get hotel, yeah. We can take you, Grink. Yeah, get, yeah, Grink, you can come in here. So yeah, we won't Don't come in here, just get in. <laughs> Oh my god, man, this is just... Yeah. Okay, Alright, here we go. Are you guys all in, um... Hotels, yeah? Don't stop. Oh, wicked, yeah, wicked, yeah. Don't stop, move it, move it. Eddie's on the move. Guns, do you, want to put me some, do you want me to put you some mags in the crate? Yeah, could you please? I should have plenty of ammo as well, guns, if you need any. I've put three in. Do you want more? Yeah, no, that's fine. Three is good. Thank you. You're welcome. It's unlikely I'll need it. Contact front. Yep. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. They didn't shoot at us, interestingly enough. Not that I wanted them to. No. Yeah, I was gonna shoot at them, but I figured they're not shooting at us, so don't start any yeah. trouble. <laughs> exactly. Look, no, no, tank ahead, tank ahead. They're cooling armor Copy. over the radio. I've got a, a javelin. Yeah, me too. Where are, fucking Where are they? Yeah, there it is. Stop, oh, pull, pull over, pull over, pull over. I'll send mine. Stop, Rich. Alright, get that vehicle under cover. Roger, up. BMP, BMP. Uh, that's a... That's a striker. Wow, whatever it is, it just hit me. Is the depth settings turned up on this mother? Because I've died way too many times. I'm hit, but I'm up. Just hit doing something. Coming to you. Yeah, you get the tour 
okay on that arm. Putting some blood in the other one. Thank you. Working on your chest? Fritz, you got eyes on? Two seconds, I am. Just doing self aid, mate. Copy, I got eyes on you. Roger. Green, green. Contacts look down. They in the white smoke? And there's a vehicle in the white smoke, like a Humvee or something. I see Apollo's truck is going into the white smoke. Working on your arm? Okay, off with the tourniquet. I'm not sure if I should, if I should say stay down, you idiot, to your sergeant. <laughs> uh, well, that's okay because I can't see anything kneeling down. Back in your ten seconds. You're good. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Right, where do we need to be? Alright, come on, we're gonna move up by Pritch. We're gonna move up by Pritch. I hate hundred round belts. Pritch, you okay? Yeah, good man. Where'd you get to? I'm looking for you. Uh, I'm down by the uh, gun, yellow gun truck, engage your target southwest. Copy it, me and uh, Jess run away. Damn! Almost dropped that on my head! Reloading again. Hotel Element, load up, load up, load up. Time to get now. Time to leave, leave, leave. Hotel, load up, load up, uh, load up. We're lucky, guys. He's not the lift. On the way back, I'll grab the truck. We got a vehicle right here. They gave us a new one, it looks like. You guys up the road for me? Are you to, oh, to the west? Is that Landy? Yes, sir. Alright, uh, guns is in. Jess in. Time to go, time to go. Come on, Lord. Get in the front, okay, Lord. Hotel, oh, okay. Let's load up, let's go. Uh, Alright, he's in. Go. Everyone, 80s is loaded. Help, boys? Okay, I, I, am, I died. Right on me. Again. You have oh. a good night for that. Alright, uh, Red, I swear to God, Red said like to I go past shot, him. Hades, oh, please. I think they need us to pick him up. Right, yeah, we still got guys coming There's in. There's one more southwest. seat in the front. So, hurry go up, ahead. guys. South, southwest. Go ahead. Uh, in the ahead. front, in go the ahead. front. Uh, pull in behind Spark, go. Oh, boy. Yeah, south, southwest. All right, we're full. Look out, buddy. Yeah, just go, man. Just go. Don't leave us, Frank. Oh man. Hotel well, Grink well. is behind you. He needs a ride. Yeah, hotel's in front of you, Grink. How many guys have I killed today? Didn't, I didn't mean, we uh, leave our other Land Rover back there? Uh, the Humvee's back there with hotel in it. But we had a we had a Land Rover that we abandoned, didn't we? Yeah, well, it was pretty much shot up. They gave us that a new one. In? Guns, is that the one that me and you came back in? Yeah. yeah no, no, I we, think we, that we, was destroyed. Uh, this was a, that was another one. That, oh, that one was destroyed earlier. Yeah, we blew that one up. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have got armored so many times tonight. Mm -hmm. Am I going the right way? You're following no, no, the guy you. ahead of you. <laughs> Follow the black line, I guess. Oh, DC things. 
Okay. Should we uh, take seven. off and smash Wolf, this? Wolf, when you're getting with a medic, at least tell her you're hurt. So where are we, uh, what are we doing? I think Which ones are we protecting? protecting? Right, what are we uh, going to do? Is yeah, we're going to be going to the... We're going to be headed to the east side. Um, follow Hydra, uh, follow, uh... Oh, shit, hold on. You're good, Wolf. Thank you. Yeah, we've got to take off in the C-47 and immediately stoof it into the runway. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to put a uh, we got to uh, protect the C-47s. We're getting out. Yep. Just us here. Yeah. Uh, terrible Ain't nobody here but us chickens. All right, we need to. All right, we need to set up a perimeter around the around the C forty sevens, people. Let's uh, move to the south end. I don't think there's many people there. South. Coffee. Okay, south. Lord Mill, if you're missing ammo, I've got some uh, ammo belts in the uh, Humvee if you need it. Copy and Humvee. Six inbound Abram, six minutes. Hades covering South End. And sandbags magically appear. Keep a good eye on that road, guys. The one east. Yeah. Hotel. Hotel Elements. Uh, lead bird. Lead board. Lead bird. Copy. Hotel Elements. Load the lead bird, please. Taking off. That's a weird direction to take off. Is that even a runway? <laughs> Hotel bird is lead bird. It's not even a runway. Apollo Alpha, I've got the. Uh, guns is in. Send it. Yeah, I'm in too, but that, this ain't a runway. Um, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, uh, it's, do we have it, a pilot fine. for the other aircraft? The main Jazz runway is to our uh, left. Richard. Yeah. But we can take off over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fuck. Uh, well, hey, who's behind us? Pushing us! us. We're oh, going to die. Gonna die. There, were, there were probably people still trying to get in the uh, aircraft. Well, I'm being pushed. I can't uh, just stay there. Yeah, well, here. here we go. Yes, we can't just run into us. Great! <laughs> this is a fucked up mission, man. <laughs> <laughs> Now remember, this isn't an F-16. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It says the dog in the burning building. <laughs> Did I not bring the bath bags? Gear, landing gear. Terrain. Terrain. You know, for a second there, it looked like Pritch had a, had a flask in his hand. It didn't look like um, he, I'm sure he does. Hey, put your gear up. Yeah. How do you jump out of this thing? DV. Say again. Double V. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> I am not picking you up if you do that. Hey, Bridge, put your landing gear up. I'm not flying. Oh. Space Jeff is flying. My God, you think I can fly? over here doing, doing uh, barrel rolls. He, he can barely walk. That's why I thought he was flying. 
Yeah. No. Oh, really? Right down oh, into the Lord. fucking river. Oh, here we go. You want to express elevator to hell? <laughs> Going down. Oh, he leveled out. <laughs> I think he's just trying to scare us. Nice yeah, you are talking. I wet myself. We're off the map. We anymore. are officially off the map. Boldly going where no one has gone before. Yeah! You won't let me jump out. No. Well, that was an experience. Boom! That's one word for it. Nez did say he was going to make it tougher than what you guys did on Saturday, and I know is, and we all know uh, the Nez. The nose. The La Nez. La Nez. La Grizz Nez. The La oh, I, I don't know. I had to shoot someone in training. <laughs> I didn't have to tonight. <laughs> You're a medic. <laughs> also, killed Nez, many, you, many people. You put the, the wrong side apparently for the NG gun. So, plot twist, we find out we're the uh, rogue unit. Next, you're going to tell us we're not going to get paid this month. What? Wait, you guys get paid? What? I was going to say, we get paid? Hey? There's money involved? money involved? Only only the officers get paid. That's the big thing. What? That's we're how we keep to... them honest. Yeah, it's yeah. beer and chicken wings. Do we have beers at least? We'll have to write the officers' mess later, boys. <laughs> well, let's just hope we don't have to go down to eating duck. Well, last time I, had to, I like duck. Last time I had to deal with the officers' mess, it was a really nasty situation. I had to use three mops. Right. <laughs> duck, is that Kinard? <laughs> Kinard. <laughs> Where? Empty. That's just well, empty. <laughs> well, from Zeus and the mission build, it actually went as I planned and a little bit better. So, I, yeah. It ended a little earlier than I was anticipating, but you guys did successfully get the cargo truck to the aircraft and get the hell out of there. So, yeah, that worked out. So, excellent on that. Good job, Tuan. You did exactly what I told you it was going to be needed on Sunday for that that particular role. So, you did a good job. And, uh, yeah, excellent. It went as I planned. So, I'll let you, uh, Ray, take it for Spartan. Well, uh, for my second, uh, for my first time being OC, just uh, out of the out of the whim, it was uh, pretty uh, intense. And I had an idea. I did know that we were going to be the the bat, the ones being the being the uh, rogue. But I did not know when and how it was going to all take place. So that it caught me off guard. I will say that um, it started out very well. Everybody uh, took off, did what they had to. We got uh, got to the first uh, objective. We got all of our stuff we needed loaded, and everything seemed to be going well. Um, I'm sorry if my uh, command and control voice was a little bit uh, overbearing and demanding, but I just needed to make sure everybody knew what, we, what was going on and what we needed to do because time was of an essence. We're sitting ducks on the ground. No offense, uh, Ron, but I just wanted to uh, get everybody moving. So, uh, And everybody did. You did good. You all uh, took care of everything that needed to be done. Um, we had a fiasco with the vehicles from uh, objective one to objective two, but we was able to uh, was able to take care of that. Um, we were able to hold off. I know we got a little crazy, but uh, from my experience with combat, that's usually what happens when you get into a massive firefight like that. So everybody kept their heads on themselves. They did really good, and I, I'm really I'm really proud of the way everybody handled themselves. Uh, medics were taking care of people. Stuff was being built up to protect everybody. I mean, it was it was it was really good. Um, I'm very uh, pleased with the way everybody worked tonight and everybody kicked ass. All right, space. All right, uh, pretty good uh, mission. Uh, we did uh, everything fine on the first objective. We actually didn't take uh, much contact, if any. Uh, so we're just in charge of the north side. We heard some uh, firefights on the southwest side. Uh, then we moved out 
to the second objective. As we were in the front of the convoy, we were able to uh, push through. I saw some of uh, us further in the back were not that lucky. And uh, so we went straight in the second objective to secure it, establish a defensive uh, perimeter, uh, while some of the other elements uh, were supporting each other try to get back uh, the Vic that got immobilized. Uh, we got heavy contact from the west. We had Chinooks uh, landing, dismounting troops. On the north side, UH-60s uh, with Gatling guns, uh, some A-10 runs on the compound, uh, which I think were the ones who took down our trucks with uh, MGs. So that's where our transport options went out. And then we had also strikers inbound. And unfortunately, we we're extremely low on AT. I had placed uh, some explosives at the entrance of the well, northeast side of the compound in prevision that we we're going to run low on AT. But defensive positions were advanced, so I couldn't use the explosives. So I had to try to get back my explosives and uh, make a run to the striker. Uh, Gimpy was faster. I think he was uh, one of those who were lucky to get to the striker and placed explosives. Stuck one, didn't get a timer on it. No, we, me and Lord Mill crawled out and picked up javelins and took, they took it down. All right. And so after that, uh, striker was uh, disabled. Uh, we took a uh, remaining vehicle, so Alpha's Vic, and we did a mad rush southeast to try to find some more vehicles. We found the two transport trucks that we brought back to the RV Spank, and then uh, immediately proceeded to the airfield. Uh, we got, again, uh, stopped on the way by uh, two strikers on the road, but there were relatively quickly dealt with compared to the other ones. And so then we proceeded to the airfield, secured the uh, airplanes, and uh, we were informed that there were several M1 Abrams inbound. So I suggested that we just take off. Uh, and so we were clear to take off. Everyone got in quickly. Uh, actually, there was a bit of a mad rush to take off. So I'm not sure if everybody uh, got in, but we took off and we made it out to our extraction point. All right, Red? Yeah, um, Space did a great job of summarizing uh, the mission. It was pretty much uh, uh, cooperation across the board between Alpha and Hotel tonight uh, as we were uh, covering a large sector with a small number of people. Uh, whenever we went defensive, uh, Alpha was able to push out when required to uh, recover vehicles when needed, uh, which was a big help. Uh, we had uh, uh, some hotel elements lagging behind that ended up just coming back. Uh, and then we uh, uh, did our final exfil. Uh, yeah, big tw uh, plot twist. Uh, fun to find out that we were uh, the ones disavowed. Uh, I think communications went really well. Uh, Ray did did well as uh, uh, commanding officer tonight. And um, uh, nothing wrong with your, uh, uh, your tone. Uh, we were able to uh, understand the uh, situation and, and uh, give as much information out to uh, the squads as possible to keep them informed. Uh, did get quite a bit uh, hectic and uh, uh, during the uh, defense there at the um, uh, second objective area uh, as we fend off uh, flight after flight of uh, aviation assets and then when the strikers came in they uh, they overwhelmed us for a while uh, until we were finally able to neutralize them uh, i ran uh, chests out of blood and bandages for a while uh, running back and forth between the uh, uh, the sandbags at the front gate uh, back to the ccp uh, uh, her work tonight was outstanding, keeping everybody in the fight. 
uh, having uh, local resupply uh, helped. And uh, we eventually were able to uh, evacuate that position and uh, move south. Ran into a little bit of uh, uh, blocking forces trying to, to prevent us from escaping while uh, armored column uh, was moving on us. Uh, I played uh, Skittles champion there for a while, uh, the clear of the road, and uh, we were able to get going again uh, to the airfield to evac. Uh, good mission, good mission flow, uh, great cross uh, comms uh, between uh, elements tonight. Uh, loads of fun. Thanks. Excellent. Follow. Like pretty much most has been covered, yeah. Um, we got in pretty quick. Uh, through the first suicide run uh, in the dome to be resistant so we pushed in found the assets took control waited for the rest of the guys and then um, moving on to the second uh, Apollo had got the west side of the lodge compound got some guys in a large tower some in a small and we, um, we kept that end degrees uh, covered I had quite a few from the west. The large tower dealt with those, and uh, we protected their uh, the base of their tower. But gone quiet later, so we turned the attention. Now, I knew we'd got a hotel on my left in another tower. Uh, we started getting QRF coming in, but between the uh, hotel and my, ourselves, um, they never got closer than a couple hundred metres. We were just mowing them down. Um, after that, then, drive out, get some vehicles, Take on two strike, get in some airplanes, and uh, go home. That was it. And you also had the only member from Artemis with you, weren't you? Yep, we had Aqua. He got a, an MG, so he was really, really useful in that small tower. We'd got our forces split well and uh, just damn good covering. Excellent. All right, Hades? Yeah, it was an interesting mission tonight. Um, started off. Uh, Turns out we were the bad guys. Took off, headed to the, uh, the supply area. Uh, had uh, just set up a CCP as soon as we got there. And uh, what I did was I gave uh, Red, uh, not Red, um, Pritch and, uh, and Lortmill uh, the job to pretty much handle the, uh, the combat. And I kind of hung back and uh, protected the uh, CCP, making sure nobody got near it. We got our supplies, we got everything set, and we moved on out to the next uh, objective. Uh, armor was not being kind tonight. Uh, the, the rubber banding was really bad. We were having a real serious problem, and uh, we ended up losing a vehicle over it. And we, uh, we ended up uh, getting a ride to the, to the next uh, objective. And uh, we got to objective two. Uh, once again, I had just set up CCP right underneath uh, the main, the big tower there. And uh, I had, again, Lort and, uh, and Pritch go out and uh, do most of the uh, dealing with the enemy while, uh, again, I covered uh, the CCP. Um, me, and, <laughs> uh, me and Dungeon Master were out there when that striker showed up. And uh, we didn't really have anything to deal with it. We were doing the best we could with the seven, you know, seven six twos, trying to take out tires and stuff. And a round came in and just blew us to hell. We uh, we respawned, and there was a vehicle uh, right at the respawn, so we jumped in it and we took off. Um, we ended up making it back through a whole uh, miss a bunch of misadventures and. Um, then we headed out to the uh, airfield. Um, when we got there, Hades took the south end of the airfield, set up a perimeter, uh, got the uh, got the uh, aircraft loaded, and we uh, took off. Yeah, Guns, I think you forgot to mention about the bit where we um, we we had a run in with uh, wall, didn't we? Oh yeah, yeah, we did. We slammed into that wall again. That was the rubber banding. <laughs> <laughs> Hydra, anyone from Hydra? Yeah. Uh, okay, so 
I want to say, yes, we, again, as we all know, we were the bad guys, we took off, blah, blah, blah. I want to say really fucking well done to the rest of the Hydra guys, because, yeah, as noted, Hades uh, binned their car through rubber banding, and then Spartan, like, binned his car through some explosions, and I drove back to try and get everyone, but the time I got there, my car blew up. So we were basically the entirety of hotel other than a couple of guys from hades and hotel actual were like two kilometers away throughout the entire first section of that assault and when we got there hydra had set up like fucking defensive positions and were holding the line there were like several smoking helicopters and a whole bunch of corpses so you guys clearly like you know you guys stepped up and took on the entire sector until we guys could get that to the rest of us could get there which was like really well done um so yeah i appreciate that um and yeah that little misadventure that you and dm had guns pretty much saved us later on because fortunately dm actually remembered where he fucking parked and came and re retrieved the ve <laughs> nice. vehicle uh, later on um which was again really good so dm can pass his driver qualifications or whatever because that's the most important thing uh, uh, guns was driving guns was driving yeah, well still you remembered where it was parked and that's the only thing i fucking care about so <laughs> really <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. I, teamwork for it was a little bit hard tonight. I appreciate it. everyone was getting swamped, but there were like points there where I was calling out over the radio. Look, hotel is getting absolutely fucking pushed this side. We really, you know, several times, and then it would get acknowledged and then kind of like five minutes later it would come over the radio hey hotel can any of you guys take down those sandbags and it's like I'd, but, but well no because you know we're using them right the fuck now uh it was just kind of straight yeah it was just three strikers pushed us and, and we held it for for you know i want to say five ten minutes on that side um, while everybody else was seemingly on the radio discussing what they were going to do with the vehicles, we were holding that. Uh, one of them was taken down by just with a fucking TNT charge, and then the rest of them, you know, we had to crawl out and find stuff. Um, we also had issues, I don't know if it was intentional, but uh, pretty much every time we tried, especially later on in the mission, whenever we were trying to scavenge AT, it was being deleted. Um, and with no AT resupply, we just can't handle strikers pushing us like that because we just didn't have any ammunition. You know, we didn't have any natural ammunition. The the AT guys were all out because they'd used it on the first push. Uh, and then, yeah, we just had nothing left for the second. Fortunately, we managed to grab a few AT implements before the corpses disappeared. Uh, I don't know if we were allowed to do that or not, but at that point it was just like, look, we just fucking need to because there is no way we are getting out of this hole <laughs> without a javelin. Yeah, like like Lord said, like it was it was do that or die, basically. Um we we also had some issues with like leaving people behind. So I understand that it was quite panicky, but those first two aircraft left and they left significant numbers of people behind on the airfield like i'm like people from all the different squads like so i got into the last aircraft and just kind of sat there for a bit oh yeah uh comment about that and sorry to interrupt uh, whoever was a pilot second aircraft disqualified carry on okay yeah that's fair i didn't see that all i saw all, <laughs> all i saw was um you know all the aircraft i had mayo because he got run over for the as well uh he made a squish noise well, yeah we had that we had that aircraft come up behind us and push us ahead but like yeah as i said fortunately you know third aircraft held waited blah 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 um and yeah vehicles again were quite an issue tonight because we had no way of getting more and it was just a bit squiffy we had no we had no plan to to deal with the lack of um vehicles so we were just constantly being told to mount up and constantly replying we don't have a car <laughs> like we can't but uh yeah it was a good mission i enjoyed it um it just yeah it was just fucking hard and yeah just yeah that what we can prove but again hydra did really well i think so i think they're good comment send it yeah, I was pilot of second aircraft. I don't know what happened. I jumped in and sat there, and all I of a sudden it just started happened. moving. It just yeah. started going. No, I will. I will break. I, I, 
I know what happened because the same thing happened to the rear aircraft, but right. I recovered it in time. It was as soon as you start those engines, it starts with thrust. So when the moment you started that <sighs> engine, you started taxiing, basically. So in f in future, do not start the engines of those aircraft until you are actually ready to taxi and take off. See, on Sunday, I was able to start the engines and it didn't go anywhere. Uh, I I nearly went into the back of the one in front of me, but I throttled back in time basically, and then shut Copy. down the engines. Understood. Yeah, if you don't scroll wheel to start the engine, you use the shift key to start it. It will start up with some power. So, copy that. My but, bad. Uh, Gimp, you have a comment? Anyone else has comments or questions? Post it down. Yeah, uh, with regards to reinforcements at the gate, uh, you make it sound like we didn't get any contact at the other end. I can assure you there was a pile of bodies that was about 300 strong. I'm not saying you didn't. Um, I'm just saying that our requests for help were acknowledged. And you were getting help, then... actually. You had fire support from the tower at the back. Well, yeah, but so so the point is the the communication point I'm trying to make out. I'm not saying that you guys weren't getting shot on from the other side. I'm saying that from our point of view, I put the call out and then I heard on our way or I heard acknowledgement, and then it seemed that everyone forgot about it. Like kind of two seconds later, the moment they needed something else. Oh no, something I was else. there over your shoulder. That was the reinforcements. Because we were getting absolutely Green shafted. Run. Sunday, I was I was shooting from the tower into the strikers at the front because I could make that shot. It was a 200 metre shot. So I was supporting from the tower. I didn't need to move. I could shoot seven or eight of them in one go. Because we they were, were, in fact they were support, debussing yeah. in a blob. So I just kept my trigger down on them. Canopy came around and splattered them and so did Jackal. So once we dealt with the west targets, we turned onto your side and helped you from the tower from above. Yeah, okay. The only thing I'm saying is next time, Dad, could you... Could somebody like let us know that the support is there, or uh, you know what I mean? Like we're getting all we can have because it's because it, as I said, when we when we're getting when when we're getting acknowledgements and then no information coming back down, like as I said, maybe I had the wrong idea at the time. That's true. Through, through platoon, yeah. We, like, yeah. So thought we were supporting you. So it's like you put it up, and then everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we hear you need help," and then nobody says, "Okay, right, we've got two guys on you," or whatever. If that makes sense. You know, you, you, I literally you was then, stood next to you saying, I'm you then don't "Well, see at it. that point, at that point, I had gotten, I had gone down, and I was laying there bleeding out for quite a long time. And when I woke up, there was nothing but Apollo around us, to, you know, ha dealing with us, uh, getting us back on our feet, and everything. And uh, I thought yeah. they did an outstanding job. That was yeah, it's, really, it's selective really blindness there, Grink. I think. Oh, I'm just saying, from where we were sat, you know, we were, we were, we, yeah. You were sat three said. foot from me, Grink. <laughs> yeah. At a particular point, we were there for kind of like, I swear, 10, 15 minutes just fighting three strikers, okay? And when we, we all said, were. We yes. all were. We all ran out of AT. Right, yeah, but can I, can the point I'm saying is when you put the request up, responses need to come back down to let us know that either we are getting no support or whether the support's inbound or whether we've actually got support and we can't see the support. Does that make sense? You know, we're just putting stuff out You're into looking. a... Yeah, you're looking for confirmation of that what yeah. you set up is being acknowledged. Yeah, I, I mean, I if I'd have heard something, I would have sent it down. But um, yeah, everything was just so chaotic. But yeah, that's what you're looking for is if you send it out and they say okay, then they at least uh, blow up Satan. Uh, yeah, we got a couple of people in the towers that are swinging their guns to cover you, you know, something along that line, right? Yeah, because like I'm sorry, okay. Gimpy, I, I understand that you may have been sat next to me through half that, but I wasn't fucking looking at you. I was looking at the three strikers. You know, I was crawling out trying to get fucking AT. I was doing a hundred other things. All I need is to somebody to tell me, right? Okay, the support is there. You are getting all you have. Right? You need to fucking whatever. If I mean, like you know, so it's not selective blindness. It's just it's it's how it feels in the field like you know it, we felt unsupported at that point right? because nobody was telling us we were being supported if you, you if that makes sense i don't know i'm trying to un explain a concept but i'm not very good at it no i Basically, think uh, were... uh, i get what i get what you mean but on the other side uh uh i couldn't really confirm that we're supporting you effectively because i could only have people shooting foot mobiles what you needed is 80 and i couldn't find 80 yeah, neither could we. Neither could we. Like that's we had like no AT supply, and there was so much of it. Yeah, we did uh, make a although, really I, nasty shot on a halo, though. Yeah, I, although I, I fully agree, we could have done a better coordination, better comms. When I decided to send uh, some of my guys and myself with explosives, 
uh, to do a mad rush to uh, that uh, last uh, striker, we could have told you. Yeah, it's just yeah, as I said, like you know, I'm not. I'm it's like, more, it, I it's can't more see a flaw with you. the um, with the 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 system we use is that it's communicate up, communicate across, Way and then it communicates pyramid. back down. It doesn't go all the way around. Too much pyramids. Oh, well, I, I was well. That's the thing. We were in such a shit that, uh, as I said, I hope uh, ho- hotel doesn't mind. But I was skipping hotel. I was just straight on five zero. Like we it didn't. We were we were had three strikers in our face. Didn't have time. If that makes sense. So I mean, I was. I was so you were chucking it to the zero. top, and it was passed down two levels, and you were expecting a confirmation from the ground. That's the trick. Like it's, we it's, we would have to pass a confirmation up two levels back to you, and it's no, it's no, not yes, make it. Well, so, so when when Red calls me, hey, I need you to push to Alpha's location to give them a hand. I then go, a, a firm Red on it, and then yeah, Red every goes, squad leader firm. does that. Squad yeah. leaders do that, but platoon leaders don't do that back up. They acknowledge the request. They don't go, I've sent my boys to do it every. They don't update five times in in, in like. Uh, I do. I we do, are not I, PL. No, I tell my PL what's going on, and then yeah, my PL squ- my PL can be like, okay, the support is inbound, or the support is there. Yeah, squad leaders give that much update. PLs don't. Well, that's... PLs disseminate information from the OC. All right, look, okay, you're clearly not going to... Agree with you. Yes, I'm not. Well, I'm saying PL, you know, I'm asking... You, you, you're, if your answer is PLs just don't do that, my ask a question is then, why not? I do. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not saying, yeah, exactly. I'm not saying. No, no, and I, I understand. And, uh, yeah, with the chaos, uh, we could have been uh, a little clearer on uh, if and when that assistance came in. But like you, I, I never knew we had the, the assistance. And that's why I ended up on the other side of the sandbags where I should not have been getting holes blown in me, um, trying to get trying to get explosives on that uh, striker as well until the point where uh, I was bleeding out and had to get my butt back to the CCP. But yeah, I, uh, I never got the confirmation that help was on the way. So yes, I agree that that is something we, we, you know, if in fact we, we know it's there, we just acknowledge that it's there. If it's not coming, I should have stepped in and said, Hey, uh, apparently it's not coming fight with what you got. Yeah, because that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Any other season cues before guys break down to your squats? Yeah, oh, yeah I got just one, one comment. comment. Go ahead, space. Uh, ju- just one. Uh, we announced that we had placed explosives at the entrance. I think we could have done very good use of these explosives if the defense were. Dug in, not out. Yeah. Um. The point. Uh. In the defense, there. That was at the point where the entirety of Hades and Hydra Actual were about two kilometers off base. So they did that on their own recognition. Like you know, it was four guys holding down a platoon sector. If that makes sense. So they're like that. Just got all fucked up and messed up, and they just did what they could with what they've done. So I, yeah, that we could have made better use of yeah. that, but. Yep. Uh, also, I uh, couldn't mark properly the map because I had an issue. I don't know. There's there's a mod additional mod loaded or one mod missing, so I couldn't zoom well in and mark that clearly on map. Yeah. The uh, other thing is, I I heard that call, space. I heard that call, but I heard it as um, mines had been uh, put out there, and it wasn't until it was clarified that it wasn't mines. It was explosives. So, yeah, initially I had reported up to hire that we had mines out there in front of the gate, and then it was clarified that it was explosives. And I told them, okay, it's not mines, it's explosives, just roll back in. But, yeah, had we, uh, had we uh, been under less fire, because right there at the gate we also had those, uh, like, three helicopters and um, probably uh, 30 uh, dismounts we were fighting. So by the time that... Uh, that uh, we were really able to, to set up explosives as a defense. At that point, we just we we didn't have the ability to, to get out there to do it. But yeah, that that would have been a a great 
alternative to not having any AT. Yeah, so as you said in text, I was just too far away to like order adjustments, if that makes sense. Because I lost my fucking vehicle, <laughs> which is on me, obviously. So yeah, in, in the absence in the absence of like fine direct command from me, the guys got something together and oh, something held, you know. Yeah, that was me. That was me. I just yeah, thought, I fortified could, the and, entrance and, and to, re, um, to yeah. reiterate yeah. that uh, when uh, Grinkle, when you dropped them off to initially set up the defense, they did do a great job in doing that. I was able to roll right in and assist in the uh, loading of the cargo, which didn't load but uh we were able to 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 get that information up to higher and uh and then uh, everybody else on the wall for defenses so that really did help being able to get them uh in in first to establish that as you went back to bring in the rest of the boys yeah it's a good job on that guys because that was entirely like without commanding i had a question mm-hmm. yeah I just wanted to know uh, what was uh, what is Zeus's role in all of this? Uh, are are they allowed to blow you up when you're in a vehicle that you're not supposed to be in, or if uh, somebody asked what I was asked for is I was asked to back up my truck and let uh, Artemis take it, and I said no, I'm I, I'm 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 blowing guys up, and all of a sudden, boom, my my truck blows up. You mean the vehicle that belonged to Alpha to begin with that you took without permission? Yeah, that's easy to get target the fact that you're being targeted by U.S. and British forces and NATO forces, they're not going to be missing as much. It was inside the compound. I believe that was uh, all of ours. No, your vehicle was taken back to go try to pick up the rest of Hades. That was Alpha vehicle inside because even was called up. So okay. okay, so Zeus is allowed to blow up and blow up everything in sight and, and start adding stuff and make sure you don't uh, make sure you don't use your vehicles. Like are 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 are, are you uh, are you uh, are you the judge or are you just the uh, the storyteller? I think the vehicle blew up Both. because there was a bloody great airstrike at the same time. It was there was no airstrike at all. There was well, nothing yeah, in was, the air. It, it was, was, was an airstrike. We did we saw we, there was an airstrike. Or... There were several. It was actually a, it was it was a it was a nest strike. All right. Well, I don't, I don't know. We, we, it's not like we can confirm or deny that either way without, you know. But I put that Vic there, and actually, yeah, you are allowed to use the fifty. Yeah, but, exactly. And I used it twice. Anyways, I, the helicopter that was think, outside the base was still had a pilot. It was unconscious. Then when he finally bled out and died, the chopper was set to re. Uh, RTB and despawn, so that's why the chopper ended up despawning on its own. But outside of that, excellent work. And no other comments and questions? You guys can uh, break down to your squads. Yeah, I got one uh, comment I'd like to make. I'd like to uh, sh- uh, give a shout out to Jess. I mean, she started off first as Hades medic, and then uh, through a whole bunch of series of uh, problems that uh, Hydra was having with medics, she became the hotel medic. Now she just goes into the middle of the friggin' combat, drops a fucking CCP in the middle, and everybody's welcome. She's pretty much yeah. become the TFA uh, medic. Doctor. And, She's and the I TFA wanted, doctor. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted to give her a shout out. Plus, I have a suggestion. When she sets up a CCP like that, if we can get one or two more medics in there, it would really help her out a lot, and it would get the people back up on their feet a lot quicker. I have a suggestion for that, then. Go. You need a platoon sergeant. Yeah, I know. I'd yeah, just I'd... like to give a shout out to uh, the Apollo or Alpha guys for getting my boys back together when we were striked. That's all right. I had yeah, bandages. That was an awesome job. I, I think it's a good idea to ensure when when any of us are mission making and and leading a mission to make sure that we don't seem that we're being. Um, prosecutorial against any g- given person or any given thing um it it i think it takes away from the f- f- the feeling that we're fighting um the enemy and more that we're fighting the mission maker so and i think we should avoid it at all costs that um 
we we feel like the mission maker if any giving any one of us feels like they're we're being um singled out or picked on or punished or whatever i think i think there's other ways of dealing with that 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 don't necessarily ruin a person's gaming experience or another person's gaming experience that's standing maybe standing next to them so uh, that's just my my two cents when when grink grink and i got out of that one uh, jeep and all of a sudden we get out and all of a sudden we get blown up like right off the snap i, I yeah. feel like somebody I, somebody was somebody was out there to get no, us to... i will no yeah like i will give you that that when hydra ended up too far ahead because we were told to come down and secure some things um and then alpha got there first uh we didn't quite receive a command to pull back in time so we stopped at a bridge because we will wait for everybody else and as soon as we got out of our car we had an a10 airstrike on our vehicle that immediately fucked off and did nothing else like that like i mean that was just taking away our vehicle for the sake of taking away our vehicle and i'm not under i, I still don't quite understand why it happened because the mission maker whoever nez is he yeah. doesn't like he doesn't right. like my play so what he does is he goes after me as simple as that well that was that was that was just the hydrogen vehicle in general so I, I, you know we'll just leave it at that and i'm just going to put that out there Twan, uh, i'm just really pissed about it i know uh, i know during training you added the scope for engineering rifle. I did find it during the mission, however, it did not want to go onto the rifle. Hmm. Was well, incompatible for some reason. It's the same one from the same rifle. I double checked it. Well, did you get your comment out? I, I'm not sure. Uh, no, it's just the uh, on the um, on the medic idea. Uh, I think that uh, it's a brilliant idea, and um, it even if it's not at platoon level, but um, section two ICs who come in um, as two ICs, uh, if you haven't already got a fortify tool, you should do that. You should, and you should fortify the CCP. So at least put some sandbags around the, the medic to give whoever the medic is a bit more protection. Oh, I agree. I mean, really, anytime we are going anywhere and we're standing still, you're either improving your position or you know, you're, you got to be doing something, right? So improving your position is like practically the first thing you should be doing, Agreed. no matter where we're going. Yes, and thank you, Grim, for making sure that I had some sandbags around me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's why I sent uh, Lort and uh, Pritch out to do the uh, the combat while uh, I I pretty much uh, covered uh, the uh, CCP. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easier to control from there as well when you're not in the shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, exactly, should. exactly. All right, if no other season cues, break down to your squads. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. I, thank Cheers, Ness. Nice. Good mission, guys. Yeah, that thank was you. good. I don't know how many times I got to say it. The, he needs to stop doing shit like that. Yeah. Ness has got to stop being a dick when he's like that's not your job I, I i mean everybody lets him get away with it and go oh, it's a nez mission whatever else but at the end of the day that screens somebody's gaming experience and i don't and it's not fair and he has his favorites we know that he, you, you know we know how he works right i just that's why i rarely play a nez mission i usually demure on that because i can't i can't stand the the hijinks Oh, there's a guy out there. He's shooting us in the head and he's throwing grenades and everything else that none of the AI act like that. And suddenly there's a guy that's prosecuting us. And, you know, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So, Nez, I can't, you, just saying, you might want to like ease up on some of the, the, um, the extracurricular stuff because it does piss people off sometimes, right? I mean, the ones that continue to, do their own things without getting a punishment. They keep doing it every mission so, they're in. So, I'm just saying. I just, I just from heard a that some, they took from the, a... the vehicle. Alpha was looking for the vehicle. It was away. He was, and I just gun run the whole area. But did you did you consider that he may have not understood that he didn't know? And also, if it's aside from that, there's, like there's there are other ways that just, there's I don't... other 
there are other ways of dealing with these things other than doing it in game because because it's not necessarily is it the guy that you're aiming for it, everybody else has to deal with the repercussions of it too and in some cases there's it's you know minor in other cases it's a major thing because who knows like i'm just saying maybe 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 the, the airstrike took out just two and then now we don't have a medic for a period of time so i'm I'm just saying that I don't think it's it's necessary. It fit the whole mission, the storyline that we're being attacked, and it worked out. I gun run every spot around that camp too, so it wasn't just one vehicle. How yeah, many? They were how many people got smoked by any of the other gun runs? Don't I, know what. I, I did. put it down and they ran. They ran. But they were in the, I, I got, the gun fight. I got I got uh, killed by that uh, by the gun runs three times. Came close to me a couple of times. Regardless, I mean, it, it is a thing. People know, and it's not like people don't notice it, right? So I, I'm just just a friendly reminder that you know, our job yeah, I, as I, mission I, makers is to to tell a tell a story, not to be the story. And I did out that, and I punished. And if the vehicle wants to keep pushing forward past people without, you know, calls, they kept going. And I heard them talk about grouping up, and they don't. They keep pushing away for too far. I gun run at the vehicles. They got stopped. It's not my thing that they stopped right in front of a gun run. They were lucky they yeah. were out of the vehicle when they it blew up. That's my only thing I could say. They got lucky. But just saying. Yeah. Excellent work, Hades. Good job. And Thanks. guns. Those uh, special stuff for you and Jess are been secured, so you don't have to worry about shooting Twan later. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> well, all right, you guys. Later. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, that's, you know, that's not how I do things. Um, I, I believe in the players playing and the mission maker allowing the, the story to unfold and that the, the the players are really the one that are making the, the mission not not the mission maker in respect that how they unfold yeah, they, and 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 you know the stories after that the that people tell each other a debrief or, or otherwise or watching the videos that's the important part it it's not whether someone took a vehicle or not or whatever right i mean let the let the the squad let the other players deal with that person like it's how much damage does it do to the overall mission if someone takes a vehicle they're not supposed to necessarily right yeah. so good i think it's tonight. more than good job know. tonight hey red handling all the chaos yeah i mean I, honestly at that juncture the amount of strikers uh that we dealt I mean one striker would have been actually plenty i think uh, and us it was that was tough, especially after we expended all of our AT. So it again, it's one of those things that um, I think that in a mission, if you put something in, it has to be destructible by the players. There has to be a way for them to eliminate that thing. And um, in my in my estimation, using explosive blocks to take out a, a, a striker isn't isn't the way you take out a striker. So, but. I mean, that's what we had. And this, you know, it, no, running, I, I get running out in front of a fucking striker with this running of fifty, and you're going to run out in front of it and 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 drop or behind it or wherever and try to drop a, a block of, of of debt on them. I, I think that's asking a bit much. That's 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 that's, that's like um, congressional medal of honor kind of bravery, right? Yeah, I got killed yeah. trying to get out there to, uh, to get a, a charge on one of those strikers because uh, they they sandbagged the entire thing closed. They couldn't get out. Yeah, and, and jumping over that the top, I, I, getting I, in. Yeah, and I knew that if I that, jumped over the top, that fifty was just going to open up on me and kill me. Yep. So I tried, I tried sneaking around the side, going over. They had a, two two sandbags high, and in one section they only had the one. Uh, sandbag there, so I tried to get over that, and as soon as I got over that, it was lights out. I should have given you I a couple of shots of some morphine for him. If I could have got close I I enough, was... I had the I had the explosives on me. I could have just blown them. Fair enough. I would, I had just jumped over the north wall to get ready to go and try to sneak up behind them, and all of a sudden, two people come running by me, go do the same thing. I was like, well, I'll just sit here and watch them. <laughs> get dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, you know, that's brave. Yeah, what was what was really the hardest of, uh, about that mission is the fact that we kept moving into positions where we had to sit and wait and just take it. Yeah. And um, at that point, you know, um, once we once we got there, even though we weren't a full element and we'd gotten in, we secured the supplies. At that point, we should have just immediately rolled. I mean, even if it was just, you know, okay, they expect <laughs> us to go here. We just need to go somewhere else. And uh, and then you don't uh, have to follow follow the the mission maker to do what they want. If it, if it, yeah. if it saves our lives, and, and that's part of the role play, that's part of the, the gaming, right? Is to make our decisions to save our asses or whatever. So absolutely, I agree with you. And and yeah. the, the thing is too, those striker teams, those striker vehicles, they're brave too because they rushed the like. Striker guys are going to go off 200 meters and they're going to let their guys out and then provide a base of fire. They're not going to be rolling right up against yeah. the, uh, I mean, you know, like it's just not going to happen. But, <laughs> you know, Zerg. Yeah, well, that's, maybe maybe yeah, they that's knew we didn't have any IT. Would you, as a striker commander, take that? No, uh... <laughs> no, no. See, you'd still sit, you'd still sit two, 300 meters back because that Bushmaster has, has reach. And, you know, so you, you roll in a defilade where you can safely uh, discharge your, your dismounts and uh, have the gun just peeking up over the, the crest. And you've got uh, the optics where you can uh, ID your targets and through the radio talk to your, your dismounts and put them where they need to be. You wouldn't rush a gate like that with them. That, that was, but, you know, that's what we got. And the interesting thing is, is the, you know, I, we started resorting to using 7.62 to try to um, take out their tires so they would dismount, which is important in, in large part actually gaming the game, right? Because that's we know that if you take the tires out, the guys inside will jump out, and so we can we can waste them and protect ourselves. But apparently, 7.6251 doesn't go through those tires. So <laughs> yeah, no, I, I tried about hard. five magazines into those tires and nothing. If if you look if you look at them, they'll flatten, but they'll turn around and reinflate. They, they do yeah. it. It does it all the time. Which I think is a thing. That's what I was doing. In real life. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah there's I, an internal air pressure where they can inflate and deflate the tires. But once you get enough holes in them, no matter how much air be. you're pumping in, yeah, them, you're gonna, they're not You're going to degrade air. it. You'll degrade it. But, yeah, you know, yeah that was my only was... option at that time because there were AT sticks out there with the dead bodies that we had killed, right? So um, me and Grank ran out and grabbed <laughs> javelins, hoping we didn't get dead, but yeah, and we didn't, would, luckily, but holy shit, like, you know. Mayo come running by me and uh, jumped over the uh, sandbags and ran out there and grabbed one of those uh, javelins and brought it back. It was empty. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to move on, guys. Uh, All right. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, good, uh, again, good job tonight, Ray. Yeah. yeah, I was thrown in it at the last second. I have hey. a feeling I, I probably knew more about what was going on than you guys did, but uh... pretty much. I really had a great time. I I I, I enjoy yeah. that when we're underpowered like that and we got an overpowered enemy. It just it's it, it, oh, it yeah. it's so much more of a challenge trying to figure out ways of getting around those strikers to blow them up. I mean, to me, that's yeah. a hell of a great challenge. I don't yeah. disagree in having something hard, but I guess what I I I think is is it's balance, right? Yeah, I know what you're if saying. It, if it requires us to respawn four or five times in order to take something out, then that that's OP. But if it if you get unlucky and you die, that's then that's more balanced, right? If it takes a bunch of us to to die cyclically cyclically to in order to kill something, that's OP. And yeah. not and not giving the players the ability to take out that object in the game is also op yeah, like having to, to do with hand be... grenades and spit like <laughs> or, or looting looting the bodies of the enemy to take it out i think that's especially when there's three uh there, one's one's enough i think given the context uh, of the story um i mean given that we weren't aware that we were going to be the target. We thought we were going to be working with NATO to take out another group. Uh, and then, you know, we were given our loadouts by 
they were specified by NATO, um, they would have deliberately not given us stuff that they thought we could use against them to a certain point. Yeah, because when we practiced is, it, it Sunday, uh, we, we were the good guys and we were chasing the bad guys. The thing is, at the end of the day, regardless of the story, the mission has to make sense. It has to it has to um, have enough balance in it that that really the, the story is superfluous to the actual gameplay. Because at the end of the day, we're we're playing the game, right? And and the story adds to that absolutely. But I believe that um, a well run mission um, isn't is hard because I really like I like it hard, um, but what I don't like is when um, how to deal with a hard thing is to respawn over and over again and come in with, you know, for example, if you're your you're AT guy, you come in three, four times with AT and take out everything. And we've seen that with, with some of Sledge's uh, missions where, I mean, like, that's insane. Like, there's like four tanks and three BMPs and we're a light infantry unit. But, you know, that's, that's over the top, I think. Yeah. Is it I, fun I to blow shit point. up? Yeah. Sure. It's kind of weird for me because I, I don't exactly see much of the firefight, yeah. uh, which is probably just as well because I don't know how well I'd survive it. But um, yeah, I mean, guys come back to me for patching up and I'm hearing all this ammunition go off around me. and um, But you don't actually always get a sense of the scale of it, I suppose. No, you got your one little fish eye view in that uh, in, in that CCP, I, and that's it. I'd argue you have a you have a great eye on it because how many casualties you're actually dealing with, or the complete lack of casualties when there's lots of fire means that they're dying instead of being injured. So that you can in judge a way, it by the number and size of holes in me. Exactly, <laughs> and the number of how yeah. many people you have holes in them. I mean, I I I didn't even. I didn't come close to getting badly hurt tonight, but again, that's because Good. you guys look after me well and set me up well. But I, had, I, I mean, I, I had repeat customers for fixing up, but I didn't see a vast number of people constantly respawning from my position. Uh, I had DM in a few times. I had you in a few times, Red. Uh, you guns, I, I think I had you as well, Lort. And Pritch a couple of times, but you know, yeah. I didn't see a huge amount of respawning going on from my position. I mean, I can't comment on what uh, Alpha was doing or necessarily what Hydra was doing. And we do know that there are certain people who rush in where fools fear to angels fear to tread, and they are always going to have a higher respawn count anyway. But I don't have any of you guys in that category. Uh, so, and there's always going to be nights where there are a few unlucky people who just seem to be the designated bullet magnet despite you know best intentions and it's completely um you know just one of those nights and then there's nights where you should get killed a lot and you don't well the solution for that is using a logi to reinsert because if there is some pain to um, dying, it you have to stand there and wait for Logi and, and then have Logi deliver you. So then it makes you slow down about okay, I'm just going to run out and get stupid rather than I don't really want to respawn. It makes some people slow down. Yeah. Well, there's some that'll you know <laughs> they'll never learn, but yeah, but, exactly. But they'll they'll not be in the fight nearly as often because they'll be busy waiting for Logi to come pick them up. <laughs> I mean that that's that's one of the reasons I enjoyed those missions we had over Christmas because of the logi reinserts. You know, I mean, I think I only died the once on one of them, um, but yeah, it did make a few people who would normally be running in think about it. Yeah, yeah but also I've noticed that a lot of people still aren't uh, following what they should be doing with the medical. Like when somebody goes down, you're supposed to pick them up and grab them and take them over to the CCP. Yeah. Uh, but we we haven't I suppose uh, we haven't really had I mean I, I've only been around a couple of months but you know this is this last couple of missions is the first time we've done CCPs. We've yeah, tried but, doing it in the past, yeah. Um, and people like they used to be part of the training, um, but people people don't. <laughs> so this is so I mean today and the la since you started doing it, it's more people are doing it, but I think 
the primary reason why is because you're a medic for two squads. So Grink and, 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 and Hydra have no choice but to, you know, I pick them up and bring them over to Jess, right? Because you as are saying, no, I'm not going out there. You bring him to me. When you tell people that they have no choice. And then, and this is good on you that look, I'm medic. I'm, I'm like one of the most important people other than the radio operator that is, that is, that is guns red. I'm it. So, you know, if I go down, you're all fucked. So you bring them to me. Exactly. And that's, that's ex exactly what you should be doing. The, the other part of that is that uh, recently we've been doing more stagnant operations as well. We're going in and, and, mm. and setting up a defense yeah. instead of historically it was you were constantly running the entire mission. Yeah, yeah run over there. The whole no, run time. over there. Drive there. Okay, now we're going to drive over there. That gets old too, right? I mean, yeah, it does. How much driving versus the you know the objective? We we clear it in five minutes, and then get in trucks and then drive for another five minutes. And so you the fifty fifty is driving. Yeah, not a ton of fun. And and here here is a good example of uh, going in, establishing you know taking the objective, establishing a defense, fighting off the counterattacks, doing the resupply, uh, both uh, under contact and. Uh, and uh, when not in contact, you know, the active CCP, the personnel management uh, goes a lot farther, makes the gameplay so much more realistic, much more fun when I say yeah, I realistic. Agree. And I think that when having a Lodgy and, and like you have to secure the route for Lodgy, you, you can't just like rush around and not have the route that Lodgy takes to resupply you. Um, insecure. And when Lodgy makes a mistake, as happened, and they and they take the wrong turn and they end up driving directly into, <laughs> into an enemy position. Was that tonight? No, it was it was over the Christmas break. Um that, you know, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. But somehow somehow he survived. I don't know how he survived, but he lived. But you know, that that's the coordination. That's the, the, the crosstalk. I think the, the communication between um, squads when we on, on those those missions were really good because it forced it forced people into positions that they're not supposed used to or talking to people they're not used to talking to. So then they stop being lazy and they have to be a little more a little more interactive. Yeah, and I, I so much of the time it's you know you've got to work these elements around the mission type as well. I mean, some missions will work great with a Lodgy, some aren't going to work so well. I mean, tonight it wouldn't have made any sense because no. we're running. Yep. Uh, you know, we've got A-10s on our tail and uh, we've got uh, Abrams coming up behind us. We ain't going to do any Lodgy runs. We're just going to run. Yeah. And I mean, this would have, other than the fact that this kind of mission, you make a one lifer or a two lifer where you know like you die you get left behind because we're on the way to escape right so uh, it should mean something right it, it you know the, yeah the, the teleporter makes things really easy to just you know well it doesn't matter i just die and i'll come back and you know i'm out of ammo well <laughs> i'll die and come back or whatever right like that happens so and i, mean, I don't blame people if 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 the ability to rearm or the ability to be healed or the ability to take out tanks and, and, and strikers aren't there, then, you know, what do you, what do you do? Well, it's worth noting that in uh, Gimpy's mission voting, medical supplies has come out way ahead of everything else. As I has wonder body armor. Why. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, well, well, it's like yeah. Survivability. <laughs> you know, without blood, you're not going that far. It's simple as that. Yeah, all, all of a sudden, medics take center stage. It's like, ah, yeah, we kind of need these guys. Yeah, yeah, that's something else we could have done is um, that medical supply box that was over there at the uh, that resupply point there in the second position. Mm -hmm. We could have tried to move that over to the CCP. Well, I'm gonna, we, I'm gonna make sure. We did from talk now about on, that. I'm going to make sure from now on that any time that we're going out and we got a vehicle, that our vehicle is going to have a uh, a crate of uh, um, medical in it. Yeah. 
because uh, we, with the amount of healing that Jess has to go through, yeah, we need it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't too bad tonight. It was very, very bad in dark web, but that was intentional. Um, you I'm know, telling we, you, there were a lot of deaths. There were a lot of spawns. I, I died probably five times. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey guys. guys. Hey, hey guys. Back to you oh, no, it's an invasion. Guys. You missed. I was on my soapbox uh, and I was trying Wait, to uh, have a conversation. Yeah. With there, but, you know. Yeah, I, I did a little bit as well. well yeah. Watch my recording. You'll see it. The problem the is, is, every time I get on my soapbox, somebody tries to shoot me off of it. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you, you need to have a, a, a seniors mess conversation with him. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know. It's I, not, I know. I, I understand. Tried. I understand he's upset because I had comments about the last mission. But I don't. I still don't believe my comments are unfounded. Oh, but... you mean um, you mean um, Kimpy? Yeah, I meant Nez. <laughs> oh, no, no, Nez, Nez actually kind of listened. But I say I don't know if he's telling the truth and he said he didn't like mean to blow us up or not. But we oh, he just out. just watches watches uh, YouTube when it comes out. He did. <laughs> yeah, he did. He totally did. <sighs> it, it's it. It's his thing. And yeah, I, I, I get it. Um, and he can be quite, uh, and depending, he can be quite vindictive. It's, it doesn't help the story. It doesn't help anybody. You can deal with someone elsewhere. If Mayo needs to be dealt with, Grinkle, deal with Mayo. You're his yeah. fucking commanding officer. Do yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah. If, was... if Mayo doesn't listen anymore and people, people are complaining about him, well, then things have to be done from a group point of view, not in the mission, because it ruins the mission for other people too. Yeah, yeah, my yeah point because was, that trunk was needed. The the one point where the the vehicle got denied from you. <laughs> what what was my comment about? Do you guys or you have eyes on? I thought it's like, hey, they're down there. Why turn them around? I'll turn them into uh, uh, forward recon have them eyes on that bridge they were talking yeah, yeah. about and then it's like oh no they got their vehicle taken away from them it's like all i could think was son of a bitch like we're not kids we drove down the road we found a contact we clearly couldn't handle by driving straight through it and we took steps to you know just put our vehicle out the way hide it in the corner stuck it in a defilade yeah exactly <laughs> like they, I mean... you know what i mean they, you know you can you can pull us up after the mission and be like, look, I didn't like that you were out there, and that would have been yeah. a perfectly valid criticism. But Zeus, Zeus, you're there to like, okay, you created the conditions for the mission, and you gave the, the outline to 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 whoever the, the the leader is, and then you know Spartan or whatever you want to call them. It's up to them then to plan everything else, and and then you know if you need to adjust a little bit to their plan, but not in a way that you know, haha, I'm going to get your job as Zeus is not to win. And then um, as time goes on, your job is to watch things. So, for example, we got rubber banded multiple times. I would have replaced your vehicles because, you know what, that's, not, that's just not right. Like, uh, you know, here, have a new vehicle. That I saw that, right? I'd be watching. Yeah. If, you watch, if you watch his videos when he Zeus's, he spends a lot of time remote controlling and not a lot of time Zeusing. And... Um, you know, if if someone's doing something, I would radio to to like if it's if it's him, I would have radioed to to Red, and then Red would have radioed to you and would have said, "Hey, Mayo, get out of the truck," right? No yeah. one did that. No, no one said, yeah. "Hey, you know, Mayo's in the wrong truck." I he think, blew me up. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so, also, again, well, my comment to Mayo on that, as I told him, he was justified because again, if you are actively prosecuting targets with a machine gun while the compound is under attack, and somebody tells you to get off the machine gun, and so I'd like just no, just like he was in the vehicle, he was doing the job. It's not like the machine gun was going to waste; it was being used. Do you know what I mean? It just there's no point yeah. in breaking it up. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, I actually gave him the truck. Like, I just saw a park there with uh. It, all its wheels damaged and it was apparently also out of ammo so i pulled it back repaired it when mayo mentioned that it was out of ammo i resupplied its ammo and then said to mayo here you go use it yeah i had gone by by earlier and done the same thing i checked on the vehicle and was going to tell sir to uh, get it fixed and then the next thing i know it was in the fight because it's like that was a 50 cal that was just sitting there not being used. Which is and, dumb. And <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like get 
get the weapons into the fight. Yeah, and well, for it to be taken out like that, the, I thought... the, the number of vehicles all fucked up tonight, and you have you have a concern of whose vehicles what when there's chaos when it comes to Vix tonight. That's a, again, that's a lot of of um, uh, you know shade thrown on a guy for taking a Vic when the Vic situation is chaos anyway. I mean, the yeah. and, is... and honestly, as the as the person who's job it is to ultimately control you guys if you find a fucking vehicle just parked on the side of nowhere there's nobody's using and you put it back together and you get somebody on the gun and you reload the gun then yeah just fucking use it mate. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah like when the, we the can we, thing... we can deal with who's who owns what after the contact right i mean yeah the exactly only, the only i was mowing I'm... down like 10 guys i mowed down like 10 guys with that thing the only thing I will say is that I did hear of a call up on 50, like, hey, our truck was parked here, where'd it go? So I called up, like, okay, I, I just repaired a rearm that I gave to a Hydra member, and they called, and they told Mayo that Alf is asking where the vehicle went. So never once does this go up the chain, up to up to Ray. Ray Ray understands. Hears this. Says Alpha, don't worry about it, or makes a decision, a command nah, decision alpha on what to do. Were on 50. What I'm saying is that let the players deal with their own shit. If the, yeah, if exactly. if if Ray thinks that that Mayo, even though he's shooting at people, shouldn't be in that vehicle, then it should be up to the players, leadership, to say, "Hey, get out of the truck." It's not up to, and it shouldn't be up to Zeus to go. Hmm, that's not right. Um, oh, he's warning off again. Like, if you see someone warning off, is it possible he has a reason to? Is it possible that someone told him, hey, can you go over to that rock way over there and 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 provide Overwatch or whoever? Like you don't know. You, you like and and you shouldn't be pr like persecuting people because and you know, if you've seen a lot of his videos when Damp used to play, he absolutely spent 15, 20 minutes trying to fuck over Damp. Meanwhile, everything else is going to hell on the on the mission. Like that's it's not right. Like your job is to make sure that everybody has content, everybody's having fun. Um, Jess has plenty of things, plenty of people to patch up, but but also not being overwhelmed at the, to the point that people are dying around. And she feels bad. Like it's about balance. It's about it's about telling a story, and that story, the main characters are actually mostly the ones that write the story. So yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I don't mind. I don't mind being blown up, which I kind of mind. But I don't like to be lied to, all at the same time. He yeah, says. Well. He says that. He says that. You know what? Yeah. But as soon as I said to Sir Tuan, I said, "Hey, Sir Tuan, uh, I'm taking this vehicle." And as soon as I Sir Tuan bounces back at me and says, "Hey, they need it back," and I said, "No, I, I'm in a firefight right now." Boom, dead. Yeah. Well, see, the problem I mean, is, the only is... thing. The only thing I would. It... Maybe from Nez, I, I haven't heard it from myself, but he might have said, "There's a vehicle out to the open. It's shooting at the blue four. Blue four calls up at, at air support." Well, no, it's like, like 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 I said to Nez, right? Um, when that vehicle got deleted, I said, "We we parked up. We got out of the vehicle. We walked kind of ten meters down the road, and suddenly behind us, our vehicle exploded." And I said, "At that point, I'd have much rather the A10 turned around and then blew us up, because then at least at the end of the day, we'd be like, oh shit, well, we walked into a fucking airstrike, but we were fucking dum dums.' But it, it felt instead we just said, like, oh, we've just been punished. Lovely. Like that was the." Uh... Like that was the atmosphere generated by those actions. If that makes sense, you know whether whether intentional or not, you have to understand. Like just because you don't intend something to happen doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to happen. There's only one time I remote control, <laughs> and that's because a, a, a AI vehicle is trying to drive up a tree or run, ramming itself into a wall, like like they do. I move it out of the way, and then I let everything else go because it's. I think it's also a trust issue between the mission maker and the players. You know, if you play my mission, I'm not fucking with you. Everything is done by the AI. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to win. And uh, they're making sure well, that it's the like... AI is doing what you wanted them to do. Correct. I, I know everybody likes. To, uh, well, okay, I say everybody. That's just me being, you know. Yeah, but uh, you know, I got this reputation of, oh, he always complains about things, blah blah blah. It's like, oh no, did I? You know, that mission the other night where we fucking somehow managed to punch our way through the 
heaviest defended part of the line with like six people. Yeah, I can't remember what it was to get to the artillery on the other side. That mission was fucking that, brutal. Was that the Lord Mill mission? Yeah, yeah. You mean during the Christmas? Yeah, yeah that was mine. Yeah. Like, like that was that mission was absolutely fucking brutal. But then again, I felt like. Like it didn't feel like I, you know, at no point during that mission was I sat there going like, "Oh, for fuck's sake, no, let's just did this," you know, like, "Oh, why can't we just do this?" Because it makes some fucking sense to just get this done, you know. It's not <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, it just felt like, okay, this is fucking hard, but this is the situation I've gotten myself into. And hopefully, that mission, all the things that were there, made sense, like tactically, like hmm. you know, when you look at it, and, and like tonight, you had we had three strikers drive right up to the to the to the uh, um to the fob right like they're not going to do that they're going to hang back well that's the same right a base of fire like it's just retarded like so you know that's the same issue by i had with, yeah well for me that's a if, if anything though that's more of a balancing issue for, for me like i don't i don't mind three strikers rushing our position because you're sure that's if a tactic have something somebody, that you can take exactly out it's the same thing that i was trying to say about the mission the other night you know sending us against bolt with bolt action rifles against guys in full fucking combat play just doesn't work in armor we've tried it a hundred times it doesn't work and it's just a recipe for everybody spending more time dead than it was you know you have to if you're going to give uh, if you know if you're going to create a situation where we only have four eight T rockets in the entire company, then you can only send four fucking tanks after us, dude. Like, or maybe not even because there's always a miss. So, and like to your point, I, I read your point, your pen, and I, I, I see your point too. It's like, so if you're going to have guys fully kitted out, that's fine. There can't be very many of them. Yeah. Well, and it's like right. I said, it's like I said to Nez tonight, like he was like, oh yeah, there's been some things about the loadout. I was like, no, no, dude, the loadout tonight was perfectly fucking fine. The enemy were fucking tanks. We expected the enemy to be a tank. So we had 762 and some optics. We had everything we needed to deal with the situation yeah. apart from anti-tank, right? That was absolutely great. Right? But yeah, you know what I mean? You have to, you have to, we have so many missions that seem like where I understand if you want us to be the underdogs, we can be the underdogs. That's fine. But if you, there's a reason nobody hears about the fucking underdogs who go up against a fully armed guy, set of guys with bolt action rifles, because they all got fucking murdered by the guys. And it, in, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? it wasn't it wasn't exciting. It was from being alive to being dead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so, we're, I mean yeah, we're, we're still it's taking we're, we're we're taking ten to fifteen rounds to drop these guys tonight too. Yeah. Well, we, um, we're, we're long past forming squares against the cavalry and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. mm. so, so, the, yeah, I, I agree with the pair of you with, with what Grinkle was saying. With the, um, you know, there's guerrilla tactics and there's 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 doing pretend guerrilla well, tactics. Yeah, there's there's guerrilla tactics and then there's doing what we normally so, do with so no with, equipment. So with four AT sticks tonight, when three strikers showed up and we didn't have enough, to, we should have just got the fuck and out. And correct, there. also some other uh, vehicles, but uh, not, uh, but they were not as armored. But some of them still. Well, there was a Humvee through. there, right? Mm. As soon as we knew we were rogue, we 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 should have just we should have just just kept mobile, just get the yeah, fuck out. Exactly. There, yeah. Exactly. Okay, so... And that was my point that, uh, you know, we had half, you know, at that at that particular point, we had half of the unit in objective two. The other half was out. At that yeah. point, we just should have just left. We should have just beat feed it for exfil. None of stopping, you know, don't worry about that other stuff because we were mm. just massively outnumbered. Well, the but whole like, second part that of that. Fob... The whole in second part of that, oh, we didn't have any plan for because when we got we got attacked right in the middle of our uh, briefing, and we had only gotten yeah. up to the first objective and what we were going to do approaching the second objective when uh, when uh, everything went to hell. That's maybe where we could have done some on the fly briefing. I mean, it was only so it was only his second kind of time in command, and the, so but. And a certain he... amount of it is, you know, you need to apply guerrilla tactics to objectives, but you need to give, at the same time, you need to give objectives that are compatible with guerrilla tactics, which will then encourage guerrilla tactics, you know, not right. take and hold the fob, because take and hold the fob is not guerrilla tactics. Yeah, we, had, we were rogue, well, less than company strength, platoon strength, and we had the whole of NATO. <laughs> mm. <laughs> And also, like, I mean, I don't know, but we're in the fob. We've got three strikers that, and then we're going to leave in soft skins vehicles. Like, exactly. 
That's a little crazy, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I've said yeah. that. that I, I understand that they were getting attacked, but there was no way they were being pushed as hard as we were when that was fucking happening. And I sat there on the radio like, I need some fucking reinforcements fucking now. Fuck! And all I'm getting is, can you uh, take down a couple of those walls? We want to get a few vehicles past. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. 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 The strikers on the other side, I'm getting murdered. Yeah. Priorities, yeah. people. Yeah, but I would like to make a suggestion that next time we set up a wall like that, yeah, leave a space for somebody to get in and out. Don't, no, don't, no, don't. No, that completely... was fine. That was fucking, we needed it. That striker, that striker that Nez was driving would have driven straight in, I guarantee you. Exactly. If we don't no, give no, him no, the no, no, no. I'm, I'm not talking about a big, old, a big old hole in it where you can get a vehicle through. I'm just talking about a one sandbag area, just enough for one guy to get through. So, because if I could have made, if I could have made it over that wall, I could have got that striker. His yeah, gun was firing the opposite. Trying to get over the sandbags. His gun yeah, was yeah, firing yeah, yeah, in the opposite right. direction. I was behind him. I could have snuck up on him, and planted the mine. But I, well, what, it, what I like to do, you, you put little squiggles in the fortification, like with the curved ones, so that you have like a covered exit in and out. But at the same time, again, those guys, well, those guys set that up while we were basically just sat up there with Spartan trying to figure out how we were going to drive down the road. Mm -hmm. Is squiggle so, a technical term? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it is. <laughs> Tactical squiggle. There, yeah, there, was, there was a gap on the right guns, but yeah, you probably just didn't see it because it was. Yeah, a, there was I didn't a, there was see any gaps. I, uh, I didn't it, see it. Well, the AI, the AI, the AI found it because <laughs> <'cause laughs> they, they, they pushed they pushed the wall. They all lined up on the wall and they just yeah, they rattled the hell out of us. It was like for fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I had my I had the sixty pointed like practically straight down, trying to get those guys along the wall. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Was, is that when you got all those holes? I, all yeah. I had was somebody from somewhere screaming at me, like, just throw a fucking grenade down the wall. I was like, okay. Okay, <laughs> I must have missed all it. the guys on the wall, because I, I must have been dead at that point, because that I don't oh, they, they, did a, they did a full-on U.S. military combat stack-up fucking platoon strength down the eastern wall. <laughs> oh, it was oh, they totally... There was loads of them down but, there. So, and you, you, like, you'd shoot one, he'd go down, so you'd shoot the next one, and then the first one would get up. Yeah. He was like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Like, just stay down. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> That's Milo when I'm fixing you up. Stay down, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, but those three strikers just absolutely tore us up with the 50s. Yeah, there was, there was nothing we could do. Like, we were pouring fire into the wheels yeah, trying the to mo time. disable it. Nothing happened. You know, I, like, like, see, at that point, I personally don't see the issue with Zeus being like, back up. we found a box of AT in the base. Oh, shit. Or better yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? Nothing like, else, I'll just should back them a, off. If yeah, nothing well, else, there should have been some, uh, even just some, some M72s, just well, some laws, just to, to be able to neutralize the battle. But if you need to, you be watching what's happening. Oh, yeah. If you see they're being overwhelmed, just back them off a bit. Let let the player kind of recover a little bit, you know. Like, don't zerg them. Like, if they're if I do this all the time, if I see that you guys are like struggling, I'll back stuff off a while and I'll bring yeah. it back. But after you've got your feet yeah, up, yeah. And I mean, it's a comp. Like, what what do you do when you drive at a barricade with three strikers, dismount a platoon of infantry, they all get fucking murdered? What do you do? Mm. You pull back, you regroup. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's it's not. It's not like anti-immersive to have them being like, "Oh, thank fuck, they're pulling off for five minutes." Like you know. Um, the other side. It was comical, actually. Hey, Mayo, like when you ran out to get that uh, javelin, was that that was empty, wasn't it? Which one? Sorry. Remember when we were uh, we were at the uh, east end of the uh, where the three strikers yep. were, and you ran out to get that? Yep. Uh, was yep. it empty? Uh, God, no, but as soon as I said, "Hey, guys, I'm gonna go get that." Uh, the end law out there, or the javelin. I thought it was a javelin, but uh, Sir Tuan said it was an end law. So I said, oh, yeah, go get that end law. So I started running towards it. And it was right there. All of a sudden, boom, gone. Yeah, I was like watching. I was well, watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, was just the striker opened up bodies. on you. We had it. We had it on the another objective where we're like, right, shit, everybody go grab some AT. And so like all the courts. So then there's another another Zeus thing to do is leave the bodies in front of people when in combat. If if. If frames are, are tanking, then start taking them out from the outside in. Like you don't just like take guys out yeah. because just for one for immersiveness, but two um, for that purpose too. That did you know? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, I ran. I ran back and I go. Thanks a lot, Zeus. And I don't understand <laughs> this absolute erection we have right now for locked vehicles. 
Like, you know what I mean? If that strike, if that strike, yeah, we had three immobile and dismounted strikers outside there. Like, I don't see why I couldn't just be like, yeah. hey, you get on that fucking If you gun. don't want yeah. a player to grab an asset like that, you have two choices. Deal with it because you put it in there. Or two, let them destroy it. Like, well, just or, you, you know, just you, you, know you have to accept that they're going to be able to take that vehicle because they just put the effort into taking the vehicle crew out. Alpha, uh, like, well, he just did a, only a training scene really does this, but meanwhile, while he does lock all the enemy vehicles, he has no uh, problem with stealing ours. Well, yeah. yeah, but it's not its not even just the strikers. So was it you, Wolf? Was it you that came with me towards the end? Did you, uh, as the contact started clearing up, we were like, there's a couple of fucking Humvees down the road. We'll yeah. go see if we can get in some of them. That will yeah. fix our lack yeah. of vehicle problem. Because, um, you know, every private knows when you when you get out of the Humvee to, you know, take contact, lock the door. Well, like, well, you know, like, because you that... never know who's around to steal your vehicle. Like, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, beep, beep. Yeah, so you, there's you all know, sorts of people on the battlefield. Black market, black marketeers to stealing the Humvee. So you got to make sure you got to. On the Humvee yeah. before you leave. It was just so And don't keep any right. valuables in the car. Really? I am just, I, and wind I can... the windows up. <laughs> I think yeah. I think it's pretty much ignition, isn't it? They, they don't lock no. at all, do they? No. It's just ignition. No. Isn't it? Yeah, isn't the, it like literally a military a, meme in the US to send a, somebody looking for the Humvee keys? There's a quarter inch cable in loop that you wrap around the steering wheel and put a padlock on. That's how you lock a Humvee. Yeah, exactly. so that's the only way to lock it. And the point is, is that if you're, if you have a, an adjustable wrench, if if you need to, you take the steering wheel off, which then yeah. makes yeah. the vehicle unlocked, and then you put a pair of vice grips on the steering column and you drive it like that. I yeah, was yeah. under the impression that sending somebody looking for the Humvee keys was the like military or the U.S. military equivalent of like sending them for tartan paint, like you know. A no, no, we send them for yeah. bubble, we send them for bubble grease for canopy lights for the parachutes mm. and and the keys to the training area <laughs> and a uh, tire pressure gauge for a tank and don't forget the, rel <laughs> the relative bearing grease <laughs> quarter-inch spirit I, level I think, bubbles. Uh, but it, it, from our perspective, it's just frustrating because I ran up there. Like, you know, we, we've got a critical vehicle shortage, and there's two Humvees sat up there that we can do nothing with. When all we need to do, like, if I, if I, if we take the vehicles and then get the vehicles blown up by friendly fire because we fuck up the warnings or whatever, that's on us. Like, you know. So I think after the way my mission... that mission could have been balanced is that each of the objective there were a plethora of vehicles that we could have reused. Uh, yeah. I mean, there were four jeeps parked at objective one. I don't yeah, know what you did with all of those. Because I would have given the spot, they were all gone. I knew what the, the, but the boat squad said, boat had one. But what even happened to the other two? Like, it's not like we had a repair truck. We only had, like, limited yeah. kind of repair we did, capabilities. No, we did have a repair truck. All, oh. all the, the platoon vehicles uh, were full resupplied. Well, that's, what's the point in giving us, like, repair trucks if we're not going to be able to <laughs> combat re you know, repair things? It's, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like you and I running out to a helicopter that suddenly disappears. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been useful that. for the whole platoon. And that, that, to that get answer was bullshit. Yeah. That answer was bullshit. You guys would have got, he didn't want you to have it. If you'd gotten out there, it's not going to disappear. It was, it was all bullshit what we said today. It, it was well, all bullshit. He lied out of his ass. Yeah. It is what it is. That's the problem. Is there's very little. I mean, all, like, all, all you I you have that... a choice. You can play a NES mission or no. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play anymore. That's just, this is that was just brutal. Well, I see. Yeah. That's just the problem. Like, the brutality isn't isn't the issue, and it wasn't the issue the last time I kind of brought it up. It's the it's the just not having the tools to uh, to you know. If you're gonna give us a situation, give us the tools mm. to deal with it. Right? You know mm. exactly. I think I think Red uh, would have ran over every single U.S. Army guy out there. He, he could have he could have killed all of them. That was funny. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was
he didn't, they, didn't even, they didn't even fire back. They didn't fire back at all. He was run around all the place. It was like it was, it was like being inside the bowling ball, wasn't it, mate? It was great. He was just driving around, running over whole platoons of people, going. Oh, and red, red, red doing that. Yeah, we expected to get armored. He's like, oh, well, we didn't get armored. Let's keep on. Let's keep on going. I just hope after my missions, you don't have this kind of session about my no missions. Way. No the, way. You know, more yeah. about like what we could have done or what was fun rather than you know. As I said, like that mission we had the other week was fucking brutal. Like we, I just got absolutely murdered. But at the same time, and, and at times it felt like there was like literally nothing to be done. But I didn't feel like punished or like whatever. You know, there was no point. So I was like, oh for fuck's sake, Nez is just being a dick. Or well, like Lord is just being a dick at this point. You know, no, it was just a really also, tough situation. And as you said. There, there were several points where things like kind of miraculously just cleared up enough for us to mm -hmm. put ourselves back together enough hmm. to deal with them when they came back in, you know. Hmm. I wonder how that works. Also, <laughs> also, while, while we're, also while we're on your missions, Lord, uh, do you have an next one planned? Like, I do. I not do. Just when. I'm going to drop it on you when um, I have a Friday where I'm not uh, needed at work. Hey Lord, uh, and it's completely different. Actually, Grinkle, you know what it is. It's the I know what it it's is. It's the one in Colombia in at yeah. the you know the one, um, <laughs> the hey nighttime Lord. one. Yeah, I got. I got uh, I'm, I'm going to need some help with uh, with my first mission on this campaign. Um, in any way you can uh, help me out. Oh, for sure. I got yeah, the just, whole uh, story set. I got the map picked out. What I want to do. I did exactly yeah, sure. what's going on. I just need somebody that knows how to do all of this stuff. Yeah, for sure. Just yeah. Um, I have to join a meeting now, but like, yeah. when do you want to do this? Uh, anytime you got the spare time. Okay, yeah, for sure. Just give him a ring. He's published his phone number on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, something that I was Lord talking has to my a phone couple guys about. I do actually. Um, <laughs> thank you for the New Year's Eve um, celebrate. Um, um, You're welcome. It's something something that that. I've been talking to Condor and Javis about is um, we will make templates. So you, you you get the template from us. It has the map and it has the spawn. So it's it's all done. You don't have to worry about anything other than putting down enemies and like and objects. Like other than that, you know, you fall. You need the the modelist, the, the permanent modelist, and the and and the temp the the map template. It will have everything you need already on there. Um, we'll, you know, we're talking about, we'll probably put an armory system in so you can select, I mean, you, 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 know, well, red knows, crink knows, mayo knows, um, how that works. And we just yeah. automate that. So you jump in, you're supposed to be these guys, you jump in, you select those guys and you take the, 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 the weapon, the, uh, the loadout that is, is commensurate with the, whatever it is you came in on. And so that it makes, you know, it, you don't fuck around with the armory at all. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and people aren't dicks mostly and so they they just they're told by their squad leader to take that role and they take the role right how hard is that so but it'll make it yeah. mission make it easier for you because that way everything's there for you you don't have to worry anything other than just actually making the mission right yeah that sounds excellent yeah but uh yeah sure after um i'll see if, if you're still up a little bit later and uh yeah i have to go to a meeting now sorry guys Oh uh, yeah, yeah no, I got. Okay. Later, Lord. Say later, Lord. Uh, Lord, I won't be up today. I got a, uh, I got to be with a rating group tonight on WoW. Copy. Okay. Guns. See ya. Rating. You back for Dragonfly yeah. guns? Yeah. All guns. So uh, my recommendation is guns. Lock car, you, got on, buddy. Your, you got your story told. Um, establish your order of battle. That is what it is that the enemy has. And so that you 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 don't find yourself in a position of and account for it, so that you don't find yourself in a position of of under establishing the enemy or over establishing the enemy. Right. Yeah, See, what... and, and that's exactly why I needed Lord, because I'm not really good at uh, at doing that balance. I, I'm not good at figuring that out. Well, I mean, like, so what you want to be doing? Uh... It's I, I'll, to... I'll give you. I'll give you a quick overview of what the first mission is going to be. It, it's going to be a um, an assault on two positions, two heavily uh, defended positions. They're going to be on opposite sides of the map, so TFA is going to be split. Um, and then uh, once those objectives are taken, the final objective is going to be uh, to get this guy that escaped from there, and you're going to track him down and capture him. 
That's not true. But like, so, so my advice would be... Oh, put, and it's a when, halo. When you're making the mission, put yourself in the position of, like, you're trying to complete this mission. So they don't put it... Like, put yourself from, like, the friendly commander's advantage and then... Uh, uh, and then figure out what it is you have and then like so if you if you want it to be like a light infantry mission you know think about the kind of things you'd fight as a light infantry right. unit you know if you wanted to be armor like you can make it whatever you want if you wanted to be as we talked before about guerrilla warfare just like kind of figure out what it is that you would have in that situation and then the kind of things you'd expect to fight and then right. it should hopefully kind of flow from there But this whole campaign, it's going to be a, a full campaign, and um, it's based uh, basically on uh, the movie uh, The Princess Bride. The first, I've never seen it. the first objective is going to be called The Cliffs of Insanity. The Cliffs of Insanity. The guy that was supposed to rescue at the end of the campaign, he's Buttercup. That's his, uh, his call Code sign. Name. And everyone in TFA is going to. Not gonna Wolf be... in a Dress again. <laughs> you know you like it you know you like it the, the only thing the only condition i'm putting is everyone uh at one point or another has to use a line from the movie and the other oh, good. objective I've never is seen the it. fire swamp Same. Same. well i would suggest you watch it it's one of the best movies i've ever seen i'll find and read I'm the down. script I've just seen my child, so I should probably put it to sleep. <laughs> oh, you can't. And I mean that in a movie. very veterinary perspective. Your kid yeah, I was would gonna, love I was going to say, you know. <laughs> <laughs> After the night we've had, I'm worried. Yeah, right. anyway, i got to go. Good night, guys. Thank you for the mission. Later. All right, have Thanks. a good one, Greg. Later. So, so, is the second objective the fire swamp? <laughs> no, it's actually the third objective. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, the fire swamp is definitely in there. With the R O U S S S. <laughs> yeah, the rodents of unusual size. Yeah. But we're gonna. The first one is going to be a halo. Oh, good. You did see the photo I put into a media earlier, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> we'll Parachute. Be fine. Parachutes scare me. Nah, easy enough. Parachute's yeah. the fun part. It's the sudden impact at the end of the fun parachute ride at the end that sucks. Yeah, that's a uh, stop at the need end. To make sure, yeah, you need to make sure that you haven't got any horizontal mo movement. I have experienced what happens if you do have horizontal movement. Well, it wasn't as bad as Wolf. It was quite painful. <laughs> Yeah, Wolf lost his head. Uh, yeah, those so... are his clothes. Red, what was that mission we did? We had that night jump. It was a halo, and we jumped in. Uh, I think it was we three did a different... couple. We we yeah, had we like did a couple. Yeah, but we had this one. We had like three different uh, landing zones, and it was like way up in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And Hades got caught on the side of the mountain. Yeah, we were on the side of the mountain having to find a way down they had they it's had... not that we it's not that we missed the objective or, or or lz the lz was just in a bad place yeah the lz was a terrible spot for us and uh yeah, but that was a lot of fun yeah night jump everybody had their uh, ir strobes on uh you had a um you had a marker on uh, the ground. That, yeah. Had a fire marker on the ground for yeah. your LZ, and you basically had to fly to it. Yeah, and the first the first minute or I two when you went when we jumped, you couldn't see a damn thing because you're up in the clouds. Yeah, I do like flying. That so. sounds scarier than tonight. It, it sounds well, scary, but it's really easy. I remember Nez even posting. Um, a Halo drop we done just a screenshot with him saying like uh, just another day at the office I think I forgot my lunch <laughs> while we're all Halo dropping in the clouds I, know, I don't think I recorded that one but I know Cap did ah uh, yes 
What campaign was it? Oh, God, I think it was a one-off. I don't think it was a campaign. We still need to deal with Cap's uh, lack of uh, showing up. Oh, he'll be back. He'll be back when uh, everything settles down with the uh, adoption stuff and everything. But it's going to be a couple of yeah. months. Yeah, uh, true. <laughs> oh, good. Another bullet magnet to heal. <laughs> oh, God. Do, do, trust me, you're going to have a whole lot of fun healing Cap. You might have to just follow his ass around. How many to heal a Cap? If you play silly beggars, I'll shoot him in the head myself. I I have multiple times heard the phrase, how many uh, medics does it take to heal a cop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Cap is, is, he plays a lot like Gamp did in certain respects. He gets, when, when the combat really starts getting heavy, Cap gets that look in his eye and he's just, he's on his own. Having watched the videos, he seems to vary between, I'm going to go get him and, oh, bleep running away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Honestly. also, we're running over uh, very... Signposts, yeah. Uh, no, running over a conveniently placed mine under said signpost. Yeah, the one thing I'm trying to get, uh, I got to work on with Cap is that when he's under really heavy fire, he tends to just jump up and take off in any direction. He's just going to get out of the fire. He don't care where he's going. He doesn't care anything else. He's just getting away from the fire. And uh, he's gotten lost many times because of that. <laughs> oh, he's basically the Simba of uh, TFA then. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. You got to kind of keep a. I, I pretty much kept a, a good leash on uh, Cap while he played. I didn't uh, let him get too far ahead, but he still oh, had yeah. his moments. You should hear yeah, the pa he... panic in his voice whenever you went down. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. When you were medicking. Sense up in the wrong sector. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cap, what are you doing here? I mean, on his night, it was it was fine. It was just, yeah. Sometimes it seemed to be all gung ho and then run away. I remember, I, I, this, I remember this one mission with him. And this is like at least a year and a half ago. This is a while ago. Uh, we had uh, a shitload of people on that night. We had like forty something people, and we had a huge convoy. And Cap's in the lead vehicle, and we're all queuing up in line, getting the vehicles ready. And Cap <laughs> starts to pull out before he gets any orders. And Pope and uh, I forgot who the heck else was, it, was standing out there, but Pope and, uh, was standing right in front of the vehicle. But it was one of the tall vehicles where you really can't see right in front. Oh, no. <laughs> he ran the boat over. He freaks out. He goes flying. He takes the truck and he whips it the hell out of there because he doesn't want to get uh, identified. He runs to the back of the line and tries to hide. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, Pope uh, caught yeah, up I with him. I also remember uh, when I was for a on the a VIP detail with a few other people. So I was wearing a suit. Uh, the... TFA was supposed to be a QRF, but once we had secured the, uh, we as a the VIP detail had secured our uh, uh, our VIP, we were tasked with QRF being TFA. <laughs> so we just came up to uh, TFA getting absolutely wrecked, and even in our building, we were sat in collapsed. <laughs> uh, that was a how many caps does take, how many medics does it take to heal a cap moment. Yep. And I, I remember this when he woke up, he saw me and I just heard, heard him say, I've seen many suits, am I in heaven? Yeah, see, Jess, when you're doing medical, you're, you're pretty much healing everybody. Uh, when I did medical, it was totally different with Cap, man. I, I just followed him around. <laughs> yeah, because I'm serious. I, I, you, you, I, Cap's, I stayed on Cap's ass the whole time. I, I had, I haven't. I'm, I'm watching through your guys' videos, sort of in order, and I'm still on the Spectre campaign. Um, but the ones that I have watched from Cap's stream, where you're playing medic, I had sort of noticed that kind of trend. Yeah, he, I showed up late one day, and he was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's. I let's can't just... do this without guns. <laughs> Let, let's just say that, given that I can't usually make Fridays when he does come back, he's going to have to be a good boy. Well, he he always plays on Tuesdays. 
True that. Hmm. Blacker. But yeah, I could I could sit here. We'd be here all night with cap stories. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> for so for someone who played the game so long. It Caps was an interesting. Was, Cap was uh, is one of the few originals that's still around. Sherman is one of the few originals. Grinkle is one of the few originals. And this was before it was TFA. This is when it was uh, GR uh, uh, Ground Force. What, what the, they had? In the, oh, uh, the GR Wolverines, they called themselves. Wow. And then that, that ended up morphing it to TFA. And it was almost, uh, almost the majority of the people were from uh, GR. It'd be fun to get a whole load more people back in. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're gonna get some more. Just you gotta remember uh, the end of the pandemic. Plug inside to Grim Reapers. Uh, when the, when the pandemic kind of passed, everybody just started hitting outdoors again, and so there's not as many people playing. But during that time, it was during the pandemic. Nobody else had anything else to do. <laughs> yeah, everybody was bored stiff. And then yeah. I found TFA. <laughs> Well, I, I yeah, I'm 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 glad I found it. Uh, although the discussions of the last couple of nights have put me clean off ever coming up with any mission ideas. <laughs> ah, don't worry about the it. The feed, no, the don't worry about that. Stressful. If you come up with an idea, stick with it. Probably, I, I just I I just don't like it when people argue. It doesn't no, go like, very nice with my make, autistic head. If you just want to make sure that. Uh, uh, th that there are to come any complaints in that regard. Have us fight like Islamic rebels or something and just give us uh, full gear. You won't then hear any complaints in that department. Yeah, but that's more of a sort of a turkey shoot than. Oh, there are. It's more. You're more worried about having enough ammo to shoot all of these targets normally. Well, they would they would do that every now and then. They would throw a turkey shoot one in there just because you know, just to give us uh, a little extra because we've been having a hard time for the last five six weeks. You know, with all of the crap we've been going through, so they would yeah they would throw in something like that where we would just oh the first first mission back this year was quite good. Another great campaign was the one uh, where uh, it started off. We were inside uh, a cave. Uh, Red, you remember this one? And we got hit with the nuclear weapons. Yeah, yeah. That was a great mission. Yeah, that whole, it was actually, it was like three missions leading up to it where we, um, um, we took the, the one, the one mission led up to um, the proliferation of the use of nuclear weapons yeah. where it was, um, we had to make it into the bunker and just as we got into the bunker was the first nuclear strike right, right and then we came out of the bunker for the next follow one mission and it was the recovery after after the fact and then the third mission was the retaliatory nuclear strike yeah and the problem was wow. it was since it was a nuclear strike we had no electronics period no radios, yeah. any sites that had that used batteries, nothing worked. I think that's the reason that NES uses sites that don't have an electronics in them. That's why so I we, do. we were talking about sites the other night. Yeah, that's why I do. Yeah, because I, I, I picked up Elcan tonight, but I haven't played with, with a huge amount of the others. Or if I do take a, uh, a scope that uh, takes a battery and there's a chance of being, uh, you know, nuclear fallout, uh, I will also stick another scope in my pack. Yeah. Yeah, um, I find the uh, the Alcan to be the most versatile. Yeah. Yeah, I was running with one of the triscopes uh, for a while, but I just couldn't get on with the middle setting. I miss the extra zoom, but not a huge amount. I can me. still pick up headshots from a couple hundred meters, so... Yeah, I almost always use that. For me, it's just a Burris XTR. Yeah, like you're, you're usually one. you're usually running something uh, like a machine gun, right? Uh, it depends. It's indeed mostly because it almost never is available, so I usually just grab it on trainings. Yeah. Oh, and speak. then I also grab a machine gun, which 
it still fits all perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh, speaking of machine guns, it is the 50 cals we nicked in um, Gimpy's mission. Well. Yeah, I thought we got the machine guns, and I thought he said that we didn't get the ammo. No. Okay, no, so here's no, the were, deal. Uh, the no, follow-up no, no. on that was um, apparently they took the ammo. It, the uh, machine guns were both 50% ammo. So what they did is they took the ammo from one, put it with the second gun, so we have 150 cal with 100% ammo, and then they sold the other one for some barbecue equipment. Uh, we, <laughs> no, we, uh, we kind of used it to improve our relations with the locals further. Hopefully not have to be it's, uh, you guys, uh, the British part of TFA. Yeah, um, sorry about that, everybody. I think I'm dragging the uh, tone down of uh, TFA's reputation in Argentina. <laughs> uh, but like that's. that's I mean, I, I, am what I am called a Scottish, if that's an mitigation, but. Uh... Uh, I don't know if the Argentina is scared about that, but anyway, the, the decision uh, in the end was made. But we had two fifty cows for fifty percent. Now we have 150 cal on 100 percent, and we use the other one to improve our relations with the locals. As they really like that thermal optic, which it had. But I'll tell you, you the one use it for. the one person I'm really hoping comes back is uh, Damn Sock. I don't picture it happening, but I really wish he would. I'm beginning to think that he felt alienated because of being targeted. Yeah, I know that's what it was. And uh, another thing I saw, Rats uh, was on tonight, but he didn't come in. I was really hoping to see him come in. Haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. But yeah, he was, he was I've on never in, uh, even Discord. Seen him, as far as I know. I haven't seen most people. <laughs> Uh, Rats hasn't played now. He's but been almost a year. Wow. But I yeah. noticed that when we were starting a mission, he was on Discord tonight. I was like, oh, man, I hope he's coming back. Not yet, I guess. Too soon. Yeah, Cap's going to be a few more months, probably. I figured oh, that... I, I wasn't really expecting him back until around the middle of the year, say June or so. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it'll it'll take a while. Ad adoption processes over here are a bit interesting, shall we say. Totally different than oh, here. Oh, yeah, there have been a few scandals about uh, adoption here. <laughs> like, uh, if I'm correct, with uh, children not completely by free will being given away. Yeah, but that's stuff from back in the 80s, which is now getting uncovered or something. Yeah, I don't think we've had quite that level of uh, problem here, but it's um, it's certainly very strictly regulated. Quite a weird, really. They'll, they'll let anybody have their own kids, but if you want to adopt one, it's uh, very, very stringent. Yeah, they can't stop you as easily from getting your own kids, but they do have some responsibility towards the yeah, kids who exactly. get adopted. So, uh, I just find there's a slight irony in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is, did anybody look at the uh, the Intel file that Gimpy posted? I've been meaning to ask. <laughs> no, I didn't really look into it. the Intel file itself. Not yet, at least. Yeah, it's it's quite interesting. It's a bit of a challenge. I think I've picked out some parts of it, but I'm loath to keep posting up stuff myself because, you know, having done a bit of work for him on it, it feels a bit unfair to sort of try and keep getting to be involved on the other side as well, if you know what I mean. What file was this, Jess? Uh, in the dark web one, um, there he posted up a file of semi-decrypted, uh, information that our tech thingy got off the laptop we got. I don't see uh, it. Where is it? 
Where is it? In the Dark Web Privy Council. In, in the Dark Web Privy Council, you'll have to scroll up a bit. Uh, stuff's happened since then. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, what what thread is it? Is it up past the picture where, uh, where Space is, is it's, porn? It's, on, it's on the company chat. There's a separate Privy Council thread off it. Yeah, and you gotta you got to uh, have joined it. Uh, he has tagged it in like his latest poll, which is like... Uh, but one latest message in the company chat. All right. Dark I think people want. Uh, uh, it's just software. above. Um, <laughs> it's just above Space Chef's. Um... His T. Yeah, the uh, get supplies and can just have a big asado with our friends and a, and the uh, screenshot what, what the... of people of What's someone in orange. Uh, oof, it's an American hang on. Fourteenth of Jan, so one fourteen. It's about uh, no, yeah, at about half one in the morning. <laughs> Intel packet zero zero one text. You want me to just bump it for a moment? Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh, you can download it. Yeah, yeah. You can download. I, I, I downloaded it. I've got got it on my computer. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to do it if you read it in a text pad. Um, but uh, yeah, it's some of it's easier to read than others. Some some has been better decrypted than others, and some of it's just outright weird. Oh, yeah, here it is. I got it open. Duffel bags. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good little challenge, that is. I I think I've picked out a fair bit of it, but... Yeah, I, I'm really liking the way that... It, that the story has got the potential to develop on this one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had a few balance issues in the first mission, but it's his first mission, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, and that's another thing. I got to talk to Nez about uh, getting uh, Hades beefed up some more. We need more people. Didn't we have somebody who wanted to join the other week? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Hyper could also is in need of more medics again. Again, yeah. Who was your medic? Uh, there's KP and there's Flix, um, but Flix only seems to want to hang around for about an hour, uh, and then he, he's a he serially disconnects. Yeah, he vanished about halfway through again. Yeah, yeah and uh, KP that. just has it has been showing up lately. Not yeah, a problem, but that does mean we have on. no medic. And uh, we've got a guy, logical barbarian, he's gone back to school, so... Um... Ah, right, yeah, he seemed to be doing all right once he yeah, put his head around all... it. Yeah, he's all right. He's Bit of an it. erratic start, but... Yeah, they're, they're all all right, it's just, you know, it's just trying to make them sticky people, you know. Well, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm happy to look after you guys, but say, I'm, I'm, not, all, I'm not around on Friday, so... Most of the Denver time. Just screwed. <laughs> no, yeah, we, we uh... have one or two SCs who can help. Yeah, we had uh, we had a pretty good uh, roster there for a while. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we uh, right now we're missing Dinaf, Kingfish, Andres, Carabas, uh, Hard Flip, Zoid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Hard Flip, he's uh, he, he's on uh, on a mission, um, not a mission, a um, an assignment. Deployment. Right now. Deployment. Yeah. yeah. So he's yeah, he's on a yeah. He's on the deployment. Stocky. Stocky. God, I haven't seen him in a while. And uh, what's his name? Um, uh, King is, uh, he's just taken, he's stepped away from, from, uh, from TFA right now. Yeah. So, well, from Arma. Yeah. Well. From Arma. 
and Frost, I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a few weeks, and he was showing up regular. Yeah, he, he's been on um, Discord uh, uh, pretty much the entire, you know, every, every time that we have a mission, but he's not coming in. You could buy talk. Anyone check maybe. in with him? Yeah, I'm going to do that in a little bit. I'm going to send him a DM. Yeah, so I'd hate to see people drop out. Just. And well, I mean, it, I thought it was who was it? Frost that had the friend that uh, joined. I think it was. Yeah, wasn't he the one who mentioned it? Yeah, that's what I thought. And if he he's not playing, and I and I went, once he said that, uh, and I told Neza, says you know, if possible, put him in Hades because uh, his buddy's in Hades. But um, that that was the last thing I've heard. Wasn't that the um, first mission back, the uh, ambassador rescue one, where you, we were talking about that? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. It was right. Yeah, the first uh, mission back. Parts. Yeah, parts as well. Parts is a good player. Yeah, parts is a very good player. Monkey chops. Oh, yeah. yeah, what happened to him? Big Mike game as well. He Big was, Mike was... just went into reserves. He yeah. asked for it himself. And so, so is Flix now, though. Yeah, that's happened tonight. Oh, damn. But that's just because he's being a problem. Probably. Lewis. Oh, yeah. Well, he is uh, alpha, but still. Well, see, the other problem is we got, we got a lot of our recruiting from Cat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this is the point I was going to make. The, I think the more of a stream or start streaming... Um, the more to... we're going to get noticed. We should just make a uh, like a mashup or something. I just send it to Cat, have him put it on his second channel or something. Because... Like that, that's actually a good idea. Actually, yeah, if, if, for us. if you're if you're on Cap stream when he's streaming, tell him you know let him know that uh, people from uh, Armor are going to be streaming, and uh, he can help promote it. Yeah, he's yeah. not streaming that much at the moment, of course. I, I, hardly I, at all. I mean, I, I only realised that he was streaming last night at the very end. Uh, yeah, last last week he streamed, I think, twice. I think that's pretty much where it's at at the minute. It's often um, Mondays and Fridays, and of course we're here Fridays. Yeah. Well, most of us are, not me. Yeah, I mean that, that just goes to show you. I mean it's not just TF8. He, you know, he he's he really took a big step back from GR, and he is the head of GR. He is GR. Yeah, and um, but it, it's it, it's something to do with the hours per week that you're allowed to work when you're adopting, and they wouldn't support that level of um, work hours. I don't think. Yeah, because they Probably. believe the parents should be with the child, right? Yeah, uh, yeah but yeah, it doesn't so... do no good. For, what's the parent going to do? Stand there and starve with the child while he's not working? Yeah, exactly. That, that uh... never made any sense to me. No, um, but the rules is the rules. There's and a balance. It, yeah, there. yeah, and yeah. he was he was pulling eighty hour weeks. Oh, at least eighty hours. Yeah, that's not like, that's not counting all of the uh, editing and and everything he did for the videos. I mean, you see, you guys see him doing the editing while he's uh, you know briefing and everything, but that's just a yeah. small a small bit that he's doing. He's doing most of that stuff and planning the missions and designing them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's as I said, probably a balance between not uh, standing next to your kid starving and uh, actually being there for your kids. Yeah. Because it also, like, yeah. apparently needs attention or something. No, I get it. I, I get it. I understand what, what, you know, what they're trying to do. It'll probably be good for him as well. Oh, I'm, that, I'm, I'm that sure it'll be good for him whether he likes it or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that level of effort just isn't long-term sustainable, bless him. You know, you've, you've got to have what, a balance you mean, what, in your the, own... The level he was putting into, into GR and everything? Well, in, in the very long term, it wouldn't be. Um, I, I mean, mean, probably no, all right I, at the time. I, but... I tend to disagree. I, when you're doing something you love, well, that's it's true. not work. 
Um, but I, I mean, I have seen people sort of do it and do it and do it and then just hit a wall. And yeah, yeah you don't, you don't want to get to that point. I don't. Think, I mean, I, I don't I, think I'm, I'm, I'm autistic. That wall. I'm autistic. I know exactly what it is to get into something really fast and really deep and then just go, nah, fed up now. And that is why I'm trying so hard to be balanced with this because I love it and I don't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, well, um, definitely we're... not, but I'm loving it every single moment. Yeah. The cat does not fun. have that wall. And the reason is, is he loves it so much. Fair enough. I mean, I, so I, I haven't been around long, so, you know. I mean, I, this is I, all he's ever wanted to do. Let's be, let's be honest about it. If you, you go back and you look at all of his old videos and you, and you listen to him when he talks about how uh, GR started and everything, I mean, he's been doing this stuff forever. Yeah, I, I, haven't been, I haven't been that far back. So, yeah, okay. I'll quite happily take direction on that one then. Yeah, uh, like he is basically combining free time at work because he's just doing something he loves and gets paid to do it. Yeah. Yeah, living the dream then. And like I said, that was a massive part of our recruiting. Yeah, as I said, maybe we it's, should, it's like, how I found a, you. Maybe we should like make a mashup and just send it to Cap like, put this on the second channel. Well, that that's how Pritch got here. That's how Ron got here. I I uh, in the that's stream. How I, got here. I busted I busted Pritch's chops for a year and a half to get on here. And bad Ron, I did the same thing, but I only it only took me six months with him. Don't tell me I was one of your quickest recruits. You are the definitely the quickest. I didn't get recruited. I, just I didn't think I, I didn't think it was that cheap a date. <laughs> you're not <laughs> after after what you're putting out and everything. You're doing fine. Yeah, well, it 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 sits me down to the ground looking after my boys. Even if some of them do get shot more than others, right, Red? <laughs> Absolutely. It's like a calendar. <laughs> well, at least when we notice that they're down, anyway. Yeah, or yeah, when you notice they're down, and you go, you, yeah, you hey, notice they're down, and you go, direct, I'm just going to ignore the shit out I of it. I cannot direct the fight <laughs> unless I can see it. <laughs> and and we saw last machine you were seeing the mud. <laughs> very, I, I have to very admit, good view of the grass. Yeah, I have to admit, I, I watched Nez's uh, video on that one and seen him vaulting walls. I'm coming for you, Red. That was funny. <laughs> Oh yeah, when oh. I when I watched his video, I felt so bad when I seen that. I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I, I see the part where I ran right on top of Red. I mean, I stepped on him. Give him the boot. <laughs> For uh, but in my defense, we all missed it, guys. It, yeah, but in my know. defense, we were being shot at at the time. I'm the medic, and I missed it, so. But, uh, yeah, it seemed to work a bit better calling it up the chain tonight, so. Yeah, that was just a, that was just a case of really bad timing because uh, just as all of that shit happened, uh, Hydra was calling on the radio. They were getting swamped, and which is why yeah. we headed over there. Swamped. We couldn't, we just got, we didn't, yeah, we just ground to halt. And yeah. we, had ca we had casualties everywhere. We were trying to. We, even me, I was trying to treat people, and, and, I, I, and didn't, I was. I didn't know shot. at the point that you guys were the only medic because I'd actually heard you doing medical stuff the other side of the wall while we were running past at one point, and I thought, oh, should I vault the wall and help? But we were still pushing on, and so I didn't, and I kind of regret that now. But nice. if I'd have known, um, I mean, it, it you it could also have very well vaulted over the wall right into. Gunfire and got in yes, your head shape. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I've done that before. I vaulted a wall and ended up facing like five guys. Mm -hmm. And it didn't end very well. Did that in Gimpy's mission, got shot, got dead. Yeah. Well, I, I see it as, you know, like three IC or even two IC. You know, you're, you, you, well, we've only got the IC and the two IC. So we've got, they're, they're, they're two precious little, um, uh roles but two i see especially you know you're you're just you just you just back everything up and you you because you're multi-skilled uh, and so you've got the medic perms and you you know you you just do what you can and um, like like tonight 
like it threw up loads of sandbags, helped some medical stuff. Yeah, um, that was appreciated. Yeah, exactly. So you know, you just you just you just get on with it and do it, and then of course, and then Grinkle went off and got himself lost up north or something, and it was like fuck, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you say so you yeah, place no, you place your guys thing. to fight I, the battle. I am not. I was not able to put down sandbags. I was just digging trenches, and I had a I had a uh, fortify tool on me. Yeah, all I could do, mate, was do the small round ones and the long, thin ones. So I and that that, any that was it. No planks, no no wooden huts, nothing. It was it was. Yeah. Also, yeah. while you mentioned Gimpy's mention, I've already heard multiple types of complaints like. We did guerrilla warfare when we really w couldn't, but in my opinion, we were kind of supposed to die there. Oh, I loved Gimpy's mission. Yeah, I thought I that was yeah. excellent. Yeah, it was a good mission, but I mean, the complaints <laughs> like, oh, we were very under equipped. I'm like, yeah, of course we were. It's, uh, I think it's, it's kind, kind of a point. war thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, we're supposed to start with Delting. The first mission is going to be hell. But yeah, now exactly. we've got some stuff. So and if you're gonna keep, and if you a not gonna search the start area and miss out on the grenades and the rocket launchers we could have used on two ruddy machine gun nests later, and b yeah. keep keep running into heavy fire rather than try and work around it. And I mean, okay, I'm not military, but even I know don't rush a machine gun nest head on. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty quickly it went like, oh yeah, let's try flying king. <laughs> Because otherwise, it's not going to work. Well, Jess, you saw my solution to that problem with the machine gun nest. Oh, yeah. AT stick in the face, mate. Mm-hmm. Shame they didn't find the AT sticks, then. But we did, fi we did find the N-laws afterwards, at least. Yeah. I got to keep them. I'm not sure if they were supposed to be there, either. No, yeah. they were supposed to be there, he I said. I yeah. got to keep some 50 ca A50 cal. Yeah, I, I, I'm just really annoyed I didn't take a screenshot of those of that stomper with machine guns that I found because uh, we might have got to keep some of them as well. Yeah. They're but I, I well. don't think you looked at them guns, so we can't use your video as evidence. Uh, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, at least we got the 50 cal. Yeah. Well, we had to, but we uh, gave one away for reasons, which yeah. means we now one fall yeah oh and inc incidentally um i do believe that there are going to still be um scavenger opportunities in future missions so still keep yeah. eyes out twan because you've got good eyes on you mate yeah i just uh usually run around uh, because i knew that from the start so i immediately just start running around buildings because even if it's not filled with contacts it might be uh, have a loot crate somewhere in some corner. Yeah, somebody's played some uh, some of the other classic games like Zelda. I haven't actually. Well, like, but yeah, there are still going to be um, scavenger opportunities. So uh, keep yeah, it... I, I, I already mentioned the, the light mortars because they just make sense and it would be fun. So, I'm hoping to find one of those crates. Yeah, we, we, I, I suspect we might be more in line for uh, RPGs and grenades and some of the stuff we missed, maybe. But um, I, I, I think it'll be taken into consideration. But again, I'm not going to talk too much about it because of, you know, wouldn't be fair on, uh, on Gimpy. Don't want to abuse his yeah. trust. Yeah, I know. And it, and it spoils it for the rest of us. It yeah. does, yeah. Yeah, no, when uh, you I do mean, that, when you when you help somebody with a mission that, they, that they're creating, yeah, you keep your mouth shut. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I said uh, about Gimp is, and I had his permission to say it was, guys, keep your eyes peeled, the stuff around everywhere. And I didn't need to say anymore because Twine went off and found pretty much everything. Yeah. yeah, I realised, like, uh, if I correct, it even was mentioned somewhere that they're we're going to be some opportunities. All right, guys, I got to cut. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got work in the morning. I got to go. Yeah, I can be explain the entire thing of like there are some crates around and if you just tell me where they are, you have them. Anyway, see you guns. All right, yeah, all right. have yeah. a good one, guys. Night, I night, will night, see night, you everyone. guys Thursday, uh, if not Friday.
if not, whenever. <laughs> I should be, it won't be around Thursday. Yeah, I'll be at me be a family, but Friday should be, yeah. So try not to get shot on Thursday, all right? Oh, I probably yeah, will. Thursdays is uh, IL2, and hopefully Brother Pritch will be back. And then I uh, will see everybody Friday. All right. Roger. See you then. Later, later. Cheers. Night.